to the March 3rd, 2018 budget meeting. Welcome to a spe special public meeting March 3rd, 2018 of the Township of Washington Council. Adequate notice of this meeting was given in accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act by the Township Clerk to at least two newspapers on February 27, 2018. And this notice has been posted on the Township Bulletin Board and the, on the Township website. Please notify the Municipal Clerk for any disability requirements necessary for attendance at Mayor and Council meetings. The fire exits are located through the double doors to your right and through the door on your left. Please silence all your cell phones. Could everybody please stand for a salute to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, please. Councilman Bruno. Councilman Casio. Here. Councilman Cumming. Councilman Ullman? Here. Council President DeSena? Here. Individual Resolution 18-168, appoint Cornelia Lisa as Deputy Township Clerk. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Cassio? Yes. Councilman Ullman? Yes. Council President DeSena? Yes. General public discussion. Let's, I'd like a motion to open the meeting up to the public. So moved. Second. Councilman Cassia? Yes. Councilman Ullman? Yes. Council President DeSena? Yes. Seeing nobody in the audience except our fire department who's here for our budget meeting, can I have a motion to close the public meeting? So moved. Second. Councilman Cassia? Yes. Councilman Ullman? Yes. Council President DeSena? Yes. Let's we'll start the uh, 2018 budget meeting. If you gentlemen would like to join us at the table. Excuse me, Mike, just oh, before sure. we start, uh, we come up. Um, I know that we have recently completed some of the work out in front of the uh, town hall for the drainage. Yes. And I just wanted uh, to know, or it to be noted, and if it could be followed up on, uh, with all the rain yesterday, there was quite a bit of settlement in the uh, ground level. And uh, three, there are three lights. They're not aligned either, uh, okay. you know, well, front to back or in terms of height. And when we left the meeting last week, uh, only one of them was working. Okay. So if there is in any type of uh, we'll have Mary I, I know they haven't completed the landscaping work yet, and they haven't completed all. I, I, I think they got an, an interim completion. Okay. But Mary Ann can speak more to this when she gets back. Um, Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. The mayor and I will talk to Mary Ann and fine. get it resolved. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. Good, Good morning. morning. So we're here to, uh, we're going to start on page 30, gentlemen, uh, fire, department, uh, fire prevention outside consulting, um, line item 801252642300. $8,500 was requested, $8,500 was recommended. I guess this is for outside consulting. I guess, Chief, if you can just. Mike, before we uh, start that, can we just introduce? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, just I, because I, I'm uh, rushing. I, there's uh, the yeah, public was, maybe yeah, looking the public and, yes. see who's serving them. Thank, sorry about that. Uh, Peter Insetta, I'm the fire chief. Kevin Zitko, deputy chief. William Billius, fire director. Thank you, Mr. Allen. So 8,500 was requested for outside consulting of the Fire Prevention Bureau, and 8,500 was recommended. Um, was that in? That's for uh, the three people's salaries in that department. Okay. Uh, the, but they're not paid via paycheck. They are outside consultants. They are outside consultants. Is everybody OK with 264-320? Yes. yes. That's contractual? No. It's set by, you do an ordinance last Ordinance? OK. It's consistent with what you did last year. And that's for three employees? Correct. Not employees. Again, three independent yeah. contractors. Oh, three outside three contractors. Excuse me, excuse me. Three outside contractors. Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Yes. Uh, fire prevention, miscellaneous expenses, 264, 500. Um, zero was requested. $500 was recommended uh, for new business cards, shirts, etc. Is this something they had requested, Mr. Mayor? Yes. So even though it's blank, they had made a request? Well, they made the note, and then we put in the amount. 
If I might just interject, um, we were in a year of transition with this. We're in a year of transition with this department. The outgoing um, fire prevention official had requested this in the prior year, and the the department was in a state of flux. I was aware that there may be changes coming forward in this year, so the cards and things had not been purchased. So we okay. have to kind of reboot the department, so to speak. Is everybody okay with the 500 for? Ms. Lisa, could you please show that Mr. Cumming has arrived in the minutes? Thank you. Um, just a question. Uh, there's a line item for Enforces. Has that been reclassed to a different line? Page 30. Thank you. There's an expense, uh, I'm sorry, uh, on the expense ledger, <coughs> page 59. Fire Inspection Mobile Annual Enforces Fire System was 525. You said 59, Mr. Allman, page 59? Uh, page 59 of the detail. Do you guys know anything about Enforces? And Enforces is, uh, that's it's like the, it's the CAD system that we have here, I would right. assume. Right. That, that but under fire prevention, I believe that might be the system that the yeah, fire the official uses is. as so far as inspections. It's well, it, it's, <coughs> I don't believe so. If the six, if the 500 mm -hmm. is for cards, shirts, and et cetera. Yeah, because they spent 525 last year. Okay, then we have to add it. So I'll change my recommendation to a thousand in line to that. The mayor has asked to change that to a thousand. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Can you just, um, Marianne alluded to it, uh, a sort of a restart or uh, a reboot on this. I mean, we've had individuals in these roles as fire prevention officers, inspect I guess they're inspectors? We have, we have fire inspectors, yes. Um, are we revisiting how that work is done, or are we getting new inspectors? The, the, the three people you see here, Michael, are all gone at this point, so it's totally staffed with new people. Okay. And uh, in light of that, you know, if they want to have just a little bit of startup money in their miscellaneous for those type of things. Uh, they must, since they're all new, they must have overlooked I'm, that I'm piece in the, of software. I'm in the process of uh, trying to have a new uh, fire official appointed. Okay. Um, there's a couple things contingent to it uh, as far as the computer system. And uh, I'm try I got in contact with last year's fire official, and he has agreed to uh, come and meet us and work with them on that. So hopefully within the next week or two, we will uh, have that going full force. We, we need to get it going. Yeah, and we, I mean, they should have cards, obviously, if they're calling on the public and, you know, if it's a uniform shirt or whatever that is, they should, you know, have a yeah, appropriate identity. Yeah, businesses within town, so, yes, so, they should be represented. That's fine. Is everybody okay with that, gentlemen, as per the mayor's recommendation, making it a thousand? Yeah, or yes. Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Moving on to page 31. Uh, Fire Department Director 801252651110. That's a um, director appointment. 1250 was requested. 1250 was recommended. Everybody okay with that? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Fire Department Purchasing Clerk. Um, is that something we should zero delete, Marianne? Yeah, it was added last year and then it was taken out for whatever reason. So can we zero delete that? For sure. the budget? <coughs> is, is there a need? So last year and in uh, the two years that I've been on council, there's been a uh, a challenge uh, at multiple levels uh, for the POs and purchasing. Um, and at one point it was suggested possibly uh, because uh, the chief did a lot of that work uh, personally uh, to possibly bring someone in to assist with that. So that's not something you would support or you think I, I don't think it's now. necessary. I, they, you know, we started fresh this year. Now I have uh, the deputy and the battalion chief also doing it. So okay. we really have three hands in the mix. Uh, we're doing emails regarding instead of just having hard copies that have to be signed. So I think it's working a lot better. I don't think it's necessary. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Uh, moving down, a fire department office supplies, 801 
350 was requested, 350 was recommended. I'm good with that. You're good with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Subscription and books, uh, 801 25265 265 240. 200 was recommended, 100, uh, excuse me, 200 was requested, 100 was recommended. Is there anything we Any need there? Any comments, gentlemen? Any comments? So. No, I think we discussed it. It's, it's not a big line item, so I think we can we can do with the $100. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Everybody okay with that? Thank yeah. you. Uh, fire department dues, meetings, and conferences. $1,500 was requested. $1,500 was recommended. Just why was there a decrease the last two years of the recommended of $1,500 and $2,000? People just didn't go or? Yeah, I mean, we just, yeah, not, uh, not much going on. Um, is so there something annually you go to or? Really our dues are just a, a set with the Pasquet Valley. Okay. Um, so uh, meetings and conferences, not really. I mean, a, a lot of our training and stuff is done through the academy. There's no charges, so. Okay. Yeah. So is that, is that enough, Chief, to, to? Yes. Okay. Everybody okay with uh, mm -hmm. that item? Just my only question is, is it only because at the level we've been spending, is it over budgeted at this point or? Do we think we'll use that? I mean, uh, you do mention the Pascac Valley. I guess it's the Firemen's Association. Um, we transferred out some money last year to support another expense somewhere else in the department. I'm assuming. So, you know, do you want? Is I was going to say, the uh, is there? There's an annual in fire uh, convention. Yeah, we had the Fireman's Convention in Wildwood. I don't know if that's part of the... Yeah. I don't think you usually pass that through. I think no. you, uh, you uh, <coughs> pay for that within the department. The department, yeah. I don't mind giving 1500 but will you use 1500 I mean, that's really more... Yeah, I yeah that's really what we want. Yeah, you know, again, okay. no, I, I don't we, don't, we don't mind spending as long as... It, we don't mind putting in the budget as long as it gets spent. Spent, We don't yeah. like to have, obviously... No, I know money laying around. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, right. great. So, 1500 is well, good, I assume, right? Gentlemen, are we all good with yes. 1500 yeah, right. Okay, moving on. Uh, fire Department, Office Equipment Maintenance, 801 265 270 okay. uh, 250 was requested, 250 was recommended. Everybody okay with that? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Yes. in line with the numbers of the last year. Yeah. Fire department, office equipment uh, and furniture, 2,000 was requested, 1,000 was recommended. Um, that, that's a change from the old sheets to the new. Uh, after talking with Pete, I went with the requested amount of 2,000. Okay. So 2,000 was requested, 2,000 was recommended. Um, Any thoughts on what you're looking to get in? Well, uh, I don't know if you gentlemen have seen our office shape we're in. I'm working on, I do have a friend of mine that owns a, a furniture business and he has mentioned to me donations. Mm -hmm. We're trying to redo the office, make it a little more user friendly, get some more secure files in there. That's our biggest problem. Okay. Uh, so I asked for the, to go with the 2000. If I can't get the donation, we will be out looking. Okay. You know, a new workstation, new file system. So are you talking like file cabinets that are not secure, that has the lock on it right We now? have, well, they have a lock on it. The one in my office, the key is kind of uh, up in the air for the last few years. Okay. <laughs> but it's also, it's a, a big six drawer unit. It's like a wall unit. And okay. the office I shared with Kevin and the director is a closet. So we're trying to uh, consolidate a little bit, move the big stuff out, just get some small <coughs> units. but. Yeah, you know, I got to get rid of that desk. I want to put a workstation in there, just kind of open up the room a little bit. Okay. I'm just, everybody, everybody. I'm just worried, you know, you talk about security of files. What type of files are in there that need well, to be secured? Well, the main thing I'm we not have familiar with the process. personnel files. Okay. Um, Bloodborne pathogen, right to know. These are all things that could fall into uh, HIPAA laws. Okay. So this no, is the stuff that stays. Saying. Yeah. I, I didn't know it was there, so if you say yep. HIPAA, you can lock it up. <laughs> I have uh, intimately familiar with that. Yes. I have uh, a first class uh, tabletop workstation kind of a thing okay. available. If somebody can come and look at it, <clears throat> it's disassembled in our attic and it's in perfect condition, like <clears throat> brand new. Oh, great. It's a corner desk. That's exactly for what a computer. We're for. Yep. Mm. Well, on a related uh, somebody come over and uh, we'll exchange numbers later. Okay, great. On a related note, um, we have some extra furniture due to, you know, outsourcing the health department and some other things, and we're going to be doing new flooring hopefully in April, if not May. 
or May, if not April. Um, and so we may, we're going to have some extra filing cabinets and things once we uh, purge. But we don't want you to take hand me downs if they're not a good condition. Uh, you yeah. know what? I, I, we took whatever we could get. I was actually in Paramus at a company that was cleaning house, and that's where we got four file cabinets from that's that right. were sitting by the dumpster. So it was, we loaded up the trucks and <laughs> came back. And I also so, think that that's, well, that type of stuff might be available in the surplus program that we just joined. Yeah. So is everybody okay with the 2000? Yes. yes. For 265, 300. Mm -hmm. Moving to next page. Uh, fire department radio expense. 2000 was requested. 2000 was recommended. Is everybody okay with three two eight zero one two five two six five three sixty? Three expenses for yes, what exactly? Yes. Yes. Uh, that would be yes. radios, pagers, radio programming, uh, upgrading pages. frequencies. Pages. Uh, right. Pages is a separate, separate line, line item. item. Okay. Um, and is that enough? Yeah. Well, he spent 1583 last year, so I guess it was. Yeah, and it should be close. It's. Is this a turnover every year? We're we're swapping stuff out as it gets older. Yes. Okay. There's no imminent need for equipment that should have been replaced years past that we're not replacing. No. Okay. No. Not in this part of the budget. Not in this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. We just want to. We just want to make sure. Everybody okay with yeah. uh, line item 360? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cummings, thank you. Yes, sir. Uh, fire Department Dispatch Services, 801252653652000 2000 was requested, 2000 was recommended. Again, it's in line with last year's numbers. Everybody okay with that? Any comment, gentlemen? That would be e-dispatch, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do we know what the actual is for this year? Because it's usually a set amount and it's just too... Uh, it looks like it was set at 1548 the 15, last four years. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, there could be, I a, guess, a new contract, maybe the anticipated release, but typically we would know when that... With our rules coming back up to where they were, where we were actually looking at upgrading our account to include more personnel on that. So okay. at the end of last year, as we gained some of our new members back, we were short on how many people could actually be added to the e-dispatch system. So will that 2,000? So that should cover Will it. the extra, I, I guess the last four years we've spent $1,548. So there's a um, you know four hundred and fifty two dollar increase there for you to for right, and that budget. should cover almost to the penny with where the do we need more to, to do you think or no I think the two thousand is fine yeah it's like, it's like nineteen hundred and change for okay. the next level mm -hmm. so we're right there sounds good is everybody okay with three sixty five Jen any yes. additional comments uh, fire department training eight zero one two five two six five three seven zero uh, 750 was requested, 750 was recommended. Uh, so again, it's in line with last year's numbers. Is there any additional training that we need, Chief, that we'd like to do? Well, like I said, uh, most of our training we try and do either with the Valley Association, the other departments at the Academy. This is, this is an additional training. I went to a class uh, a couple weeks ago in Dover, but, but it was $35. So okay. it, classes Which, like that are this is more than adequate for us to send the guys out for additional stuff. I know the council is trying to be very proactive in training our personnel as much as we can. So if there's anything that yeah, they, like I said, this, this is wanted, something it, exactly you wanted to do in the past and couldn't. You know, right, we're trying yeah. to be proactive in this. So yeah, this I'm is, speaking for myself, and I will think we the rest spend of the it council. Oh, I have no problem spending it. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's again, <laughs> we don't mind putting the yeah. budget. As Any long other as comments, as, gentlemen? Yeah, because because my assumption is that we spend it this year and maybe next year. This line item. To be reduced, right. you know. Again, yes. we're doing a lot. This year's a lot of catch up. Yeah, well, let's. So, like, our CPR training is going to be coming out of that. Okay. So, we do that every two years. So, that's our cards and stuff. But okay. yeah, and you're pushing these. Uh, the good thing with these young guys is they they're looking for these classes okay. and the seminars, and that's where this money's going to be going. I would so. like to see them get it. Again, yeah. we're doing a lot of catch up, so we want to make sure you <clears throat> you have it this year, and it's and it's used. Yep. So. Any other additional comments, um, Mr. Alden? Mr. No. Steve, to dovetail no, on that, I think training is the one area that may not go down in future years. We want to keep the people trained. So, <laughs> Well, you, some things you don't have to train every year. Right. You don't have to recertify. And, and really, you know, some particular items are a lifelong lesson. Uh, so I don't think training always goes up every year. Mm -hmm. I think it does, you know, level, level out at some time. So, again, this will be an exceptional year. So... You know, let's, let's keep it, uh, you know, on that forefront there. Thank you, Mr. Casio. No problem. Fire Department uniform and safety equipment, 801-25-265-400. 10,000 was requested, 8,000 was recommended. Um, so 
new members, old uniforms? Well, right now, as far as our uniforms go, uh, per our bylaws, uh, they're supposed to get a new uniform after a year. After five, it's their uniform. So okay. it's, we don't keep replacing them uh, because that became a problem in the past when the uh, the dry cleaners would shrink them. <laughs> okay. And then the guys would come back and want a brand new. They, I mean, they're not cheap. I have no problem replacing something gets ripped or broken sure. or whatever. But you know, gravity takes over, you know, you got to be a little <laughs> uh, more yeah, responsible for yourself. <laughs> so <laughs> as far as that goes. That's where the, the training comes in. <laughs> it, this is uh, this is dress. This is not bunker gear. No, but the bunker gear is a separate line item. Okay. So this is just dress uniforms. The dress right? uniform is right. Okay. Is so eight thousand going to be able to cover that? Uh, Based on the change you guys you had requested. I mean, to, but there's got to be quite a few guys that need it. Yeah. Uh, we've been doing fairly well over the years getting some uniforms. Um, playing catch up with that. Well, we spent like five. You know, we spent just over five thousand. Thousand, right? So. Last year, mm -hmm. you know, how many people. Actually, I think I reclassed after you got this the repairs to the tower level. Which right, I there don't was think a that was supposed to be there. Right. So the also that will, amount is not as much as it was. The, no, but I will mention that when the right to know stuff that we're just buying, mm -hmm. I reclassed it to this Into line to line safety. So right. that's another two thousand in addition to whatever you were. Right. So you may want to up yeah, prior it based to the, on that. Prior to do the budget sheets is when we started looking around at our right to know lack of compliance. So we gave the list to Marianne as far as all the things. And it's quite a lot yeah. to get us caught up to where we got to be. So, okay. um, so is 8,000 you think going to cover that? Um, for this? I'm not sure. Was 8,000 8, was budgeted without that in mind, right? So right, that was done that prior another, to. Yeah. Um, I think it was at least 1,500 for that. Probably, yeah, with, with everything. We were so just kind of going back before between the vendors as far know. as numbers. So it's closer Peter, to the request. If, re if you want to change your request to <laughs> well, he thinks that's what they need in light of these new Yeah, like I said, the right thing to know was going to be a big, a big issue, mm -hmm. so okay. that's okay. going to be, uh, that's going to be our increase. So what you are want we to make doing? it 9,500? I'm increasing mine to 10. Uh, I think that'll cover right from, okay. from what we got from the racks. Gentlemen, so. uh, 10, that, um, Mayor has just uh, made a <coughs> change to make that match the requested and the recommended. Is everybody okay with line item 400? So it's uh, plus two? Plus 2,000, yes. Yes, sir. What did, ten. Not to go into detail, but the right to know what is? Well, uh, uh, <coughs> that's your posters. That's uh, eyewash station. That's the book that contains all the... Um, the safety sheets. Okay. If, um, yeah, my, if I might interject on a, on a more basic level, materials. Michael, that is, there's a law that says that employees and anyone who is working within a facility has a right to know the chemicals that okay. they we may come in contact with. So we have to file reports as to each building that's within our control as to what the chemicals are. The fire and the DMF, as you can imagine, have the most. Is this an electronic system or are we still, are the chief just mentioned paper, so you can, you posters. Have, you, can, you can do an electronic if you have a dedicated uh, computer. Okay. No, if it's gotta be a computer that's accessible by any of the members. Correct, we don't have uh, that. Uh, right now I don't have Okay, I'd place to do it. it. That answers the question. So, it's usually posters, books. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I yeah, yeah. know what it is. The easiest way is it's a binder that's going to go on the yep. wall in a space, then they can, they can look it up. Okay. Yeah, and and this no is actually knows. things that even if you were electronic, you couldn't get away from. It's the eyewash station, the first aid kit, the shelving unit, Units, yeah. um, and everything to be accessible to every, anybody who wants to see it. Perfect. That, that, so that a mandate, a safety mandate that uh, we are putting, we're following. catching up on. Yeah. Okay. So is everybody okay with uh, the increase to $10,000 for 265400 Yes, sir. Any additional Absolutely. comments? No, sir. Moving on. Fire Department oxygen and fire extinguishers, uh, $1,500 was requested, $1,500 was recommended. Um, it looks like Pete and I both up that to $2,500. Oh, I, yes. Uh, um, oh, yeah. Reason being, we found that the on the rescue truck are uh, <coughs> the air bottles we use to fill the smaller bottles. Uh, have not been tested. Oh, okay. Uh, and there, there <laughs> could be a problem. So we've been out to the vendors, and I believe it was State Line. We got the price. So as soon as the air is down enough, we're going to be pulling them out, and we have to send them out to be hydro tested. So we, that's why I asked for the additional money. Okay. Everybody okay with that, gentlemen? Mm -hmm. Yes. I guess in in mm -hmm. Mr. Cassio's words, we're playing more catch up. Mm -hmm. Well, originally the vendor had had told us, well, if the bottles are gray per DOT, they'd never have to be tested. 
Uh, we ended up speaking with the Paramus Rescue Squad, uh, the chief down there is a good friend of mine, and he said he never heard anything like that, bring the truck no. down, let us look at it. Never heard anything <laughs> like that. Yeah, that was from the well, vendor. high pressure cylinders have to be hydroed every five years. In five years, yes. So yes, sir. We, uh, since the truck is, what, 12 years old now? that's your cascade 13? system? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's for your cascade. Do. Yep. I know what it is. Yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> Fire Department, Building Maintenance and Supplies, 801-25-265-420. 1,000 was <coughs> requested, 1,000 was recommended. Everybody okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I just want to know why uh, in 16 and 17 there was nothing uh, appropriate, nothing spent. Well, we well have look, let me maintenance? On, my, on my sheet, Steve, the new ones, uh, I have 687 that they spent in 2017, so maybe yeah, but it was No, a, no, no, I'm saying zero it was appropriate. wasn't appropriate. Oh, appropriate, sorry. What, nothing oh. was appropriate or spent in 16. In 17, obviously, nothing was appropriate, but they spent $700. We might have put it in the line just below it. Look at the <coughs> line below it is building maintenance. <coughs> so you know how we've been, you have all been concerned about, like, consolidating? Okay. Yes. It seems like we could put put it in one line if we wanted to, okay. but it's up to you. Well, this, well, this, does this include, um, like, the janitorial services and the supplies for that also? Or? The maintenance is, the line below it would. It okay. looks like, and it, it looks like it easily could have been <coughs> put in a different line. That's, um, <coughs> Uh, it was maintenance for the generator, so I think that would have belonged in the below line anyway. So I would suggest that you yeah, eliminate let's, let's, the line and push it down to let's, the other. Let's, if we can, if council's uh, amenable to it, can we just delete that line? Just put it in one. Go, uh, delete uh, yeah, four twenty and make put make, make four fifty. Make four fifty. So yeah. we'll zero delete four twenty and you, move the money down into uh, four fifty. If everybody is amenable to that. Okay, um, moving down, everybody, so everybody's okay, Mr. Mr. Allman? Mr. Yeah, Allman? Yes. we're gonna... <coughs> and drop down a thousand to, yeah. to make that eight. Yeah. Was this, um, the maintenance on the generator, was that uh, sort of annual maintenance contract or did we have to do service? Uh, I believe when we first started it was both because we didn't have a maintenance contract, uh, so we had to do I don't want to say complete repair, but there were some issues with it, and then we started the maintenance contract on a yearly basis. Okay, as long as we have a yeah. contract going forward. Yeah, so they come and they change the oil and service it, whatever. Yeah, last yeah. year we, or the, 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 either 16 or 17, I got uh, called around and got some companies so that we could maintain them. Okay. <clears throat> Fire Department, building maintenance, 801 25 265 450. Um, 7,000 was requested, 7,000 was recommended. We just made it 8,000 by moving 420 um, into 450. Um, it says, note architect engineer to be paid out of ordinance soft costs. So does that mean it's coming out of this line? or is No, that means that it's not, not here. Coming. It's not here, okay. There was original discussion about putting it in there and to the extent anyone was wondering where it was coming so from, do it's we not need, coming out of this line. Okay, do we need to wait for Mr. Scuderi to get back to us with the maintenance costs to have the fire department? Because I know we had asked um, the other uh, night, or is... Actually, um, well, if you look, the number that's requested, if it's now 8,000, last year the spend was only... Three. Four thousand. Four, four thousand. So you've got four thousand. I don't know what they what's anticipated. I don't think at the time they anticipated the cleaning, but the cleaning, as I understand it, after Mr. Scuderi spoke with either I think Bill or someone, it's going to be a once a week cleaning, and we do not yet have the estimates for that. But um, let's, no, I, I talked to uh, uh, Dan Scuderi, and um, like we we recommended maybe twice a month or once a month. You know, oh, depending. okay. So even less frequently. We, you know, we don't need somebody in there weekly. Um, we sh we're certain of that. Yeah. You, you want to uh, flag that one for now until we I get mean, a number? Can we hold that? Yeah, let's, everybody okay let's, with holding that until we get Mr. Scuderi's numbers back? Well, before that, would, might you have the discussion as to what they anticipate with the 8,000 so we can figure out when the number comes in, if there's room in that number? Because that's a big, that's a jump from last year, and I don't know if they need garage door repairs or what they're thinking of with that number. Well, well, one thing that definitely has to be addressed, I've been speaking to our in-house electricians, is we did have a small fire in the electrical panel. So, uh, I'm can we can we can we flag this one, gentlemen, until we get the. Can we get, Chief, can you provide us what the cost will be? I'm going to try and get some numbers for, for that. It wasn't anything major, but they're like, 
pointed it out that it's got to be addressed. So I'm trying to get some numbers from. Uh, Is everybody from okay my guys. flagging this item until we get the um, numbers from Mr. Scuderi and from the chief on this maintenance issue? Well, we might do, um, Pete, if it's okay with you, if you give me the workup of what you know you need beyond the maintenance, and mm -hmm. then I'll plug in that figure and I can report that back to the council. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Everybody? Yeah, let's hold off on that. Let's hold off. So we're going to flag uh, 801 225 265 Any additional comments, Sean? Mm -mm. So I guess Marianne was discussing the doors and other things that may need to be added to this since there are ongoing issues that we haven't addressed. Yeah, in a while. Well, so the doors, I mean, we're still be dealing with some uh, 40 year old door openers. So, but uh, yeah, there's a few things that we, we want to look at. All right, so let's see if we can get those estimates and we'll flag this item until we get that back. Moving along, um, fire department equipment purchases, 801252654590. 5,000 was requested, uh, 2,500 was recommended. Um, I guess what kind of equipment were we discussing in this line that? Uh, I'm not sure. Would some of the line items get moved around? I wasn't sure exactly what we were pulling out of this line item. Uh, when I saw the reduction, so that's what I was going to ask about. That's that's the mayor. I'm not sure. Mr. Mayor, do you have anything uh, you could add to this? No, uh, Pete. I'm thinking you and I probably discussed it for me to uh, reduce it from the five thousand right. as to the twenty five hundred. But uh, well, what, even what was intended in the twenty five hundred? I'd have to defer to you yeah. on. I mean, last year we, we didn't spend much money much on, on this item. That, so. That's yeah. probably why it was just a reduction. So what, do you know what was in the 5K or what the line supports? <clears throat> I'm not sure. What did hose come out of? Uh, no, hose was something different that we purchased from. Uh, it's in there, it's just batteries. Seems to be. Yeah, yeah. Small batteries. that might have been just the, like the batteries, like the incidentals we were getting Triple from. Triple A's, uh, nine volts, Depot. double A's. Right. That, so that was, that was just the incidental stuff that we're getting from That's the Home Depot. We, no, it was just equipment purchases. So. Uh, is there uh, saws, uh, you know, I guess... Uh, Small tools that you need to replace? Yeah, it's all batteries. Yeah, it's all, it's all it's batteries. All, it was, yeah, it was yeah, all the, inter, the Home Depot stuff that we were getting, the incidental stuff that we needed. I don't know where they came out of. Do you want us to flag this and get back to us in case there is something that we're not seeing right now at least? Yeah, I, I, know I mean, we have purchased the saws in the, you know, in, over the last few years and stuff. I, 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 why that wouldn't have come out, I don't know why that's not in there. We just have the batteries in there, which, because we have the hardware parts, which would, <coughs> I would think the batteries would be coming out of there. That's why I was a little confused when I saw the reduction. Do we want to just flag this and we'll yeah, if you can could. get back to us? The, is, is there any way we could find out what came out of that line the it last was, three or four years? Well, last year you spent 142. The prior year was 825. 1512, 2118. Does it say what though? No, I don't know. Uh, we have I mean, last year's breakdown is the civilians, but and that was just batteries. That was just batteries. Is that um, no, I can I can go upstairs right now and yeah, generate get the, reports okay. and then we can come back to it. Yes. So you want to Pete, you want to see where saws and things of that nature no, were no, charged you, to? I think he was asking what, <clears throat> well, what was they, spent in 13, 14, 15, and 16 to those charges. There was charges in, in 13 of eight thousand uh, dollars. there's charges in 14 of twenty one eighteen. 15 of 1500 and 16 of 825. Okay. So I guess the chief would like, and, and Mr. Billius would like to know what those were so we can kind of figure out what was spent in this. Yeah, well, he replaced. So okay. if Marianne will provide us those numbers and we'll come back to this. Uh, is everybody okay with that? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put that I'm gonna flag that and then we'll uh, go do that now. All right. Uh, miscellaneous five hundred. Uh, miscellaneous eight zero one two five two six five five hundred. Five hundred was requested. Um, Twelve hundred was recommended. It includes two antivirus licenses. That's why. So I. I, Mr. Uh, that, I increased it only because we I. I had decreased some of the <coughs> others, so just to leave a cushion. Uh, and they spent I, about 1200 last year, so mm -hmm. it does make sense. Right. Is everybody okay with that, gentlemen? <coughs> yes. Mm -hmm. right. So we're all good with 500? Uh, the line item 500? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fire Department Inspection and Chief's Dinner, 801-25265-560. Uh, 9000 was requested, 9000 was recommended. Um, any discussion, gentlemen? 
Uh, well, actually, I was approached why they didn't do it when we were doing the budget sheets, but uh, our company president, Mr. Gunello, said he had spoken to some members of the council, I guess, over time. He never said anything to me about requesting an increase um, <clears throat> in the reimbursement as the dinners are becoming more expensive, if that was a possibility. Um, I said I would bring it up, the fact that it should have been discussed when I put my sheets in. <laughs> um, so what would your new request be? I don't want to go crazy with it. I mean, I do understand, you know, the money end of it, and we're not looking to have, you know, wild, crazy parties. Um, we usually split. I believe the chief standard does about five thousand on the reimbursement, and then four thousand towards inspection. <clears throat> Again, I don't want to go crazy, but if we can bring it up, even a thousand dollars, it gives us a little bit more. Uh, see, we've been using seasons. I'd like to see us get away from them because they are a little expensive. Um, but I don't see the need to going nuts. I think maybe we need, if we need to, we need to cut back a little bit on the on that. I know you gentlemen enjoy coming, and I enjoy going to them. But you know, there has to be a, there has to be a limit at some point, just for a dinner. I, I'd rather see the money go to something that we're going to use. We're talking training, we're talking equipment, rather than something like that. So, so, so um, in my mind, uh, appreciating that comment, uh, I think it's. You know, to have uh, a dinner to recognize the volunteers, uh, to recognize the turnover of the uh, uh, the chief's uh, position. You know, I have, I personally have no problem supporting that. You know, just let's let's understand the number, and if you know it needs to be a smaller event, but I, I don't think having a dinner for the company uh, is. Out of line. Right. I mean, I mean, I had no problem putting in nine thousand. We've been working with that number. I'm fine with it. Um, this was just something that came up at the last minute to me. I'm, I'm going to throw it out there. Um, but like I said, if it, if it's something that comes down to where it's going to take away from something else, then, frankly, I don't think we need it. <clears throat> um, Washington Township is not a poor town, okay, by any stretch of the imagination, um, and what it costs to run. If we had to have a paid company, oh. it would cost us a heck of a lot more. So I have no problem supporting 9000 I would even ask the mayor maybe to request even some more money for you, because you, you really do put a lot of time in. You do a lot of, um, a lot of things that a lot of other departments in town do not do. And you know, you're being, you're very, a vital great, asset you're being very gracious, mm -hmm. and I appreciate that. But we want to appreciate you as well. Oh, not a problem. So you know, like I would I, I wouldn't mind raising that a thousand or two. Okay. And you know me; I never raise anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so are you recommending? That <clears throat> I'm going to recommend another two thousand dollars for that line item, and I never do. That. <laughs> can we? Can we? Uh, yeah, I agree. <clears throat> the fire department's a vital asset of our community. Can we maybe, Mr. Cassio, go to 10 as per the chief's original recommendation? Sure. And maybe have a discussion with Seasons and yeah. shop local, be local. Yeah, we and should shop local. We should, yeah, we should try to be local. I understand, you know, if the price I becomes, I, I understand, <laughs> Chief, if the price makes it unrealistic to stay price. at Seasons, but I think if we maybe have some discussions well, with we that. Well, we try, that's right. Yeah. Unlike the other department, I was just at a dinner last night, which was Park Ridge's dinner. We were in Old Pan. Mm -hmm. We've been trying to keep it in-house. How many years have we been? And we've been staying here to stay in our town. Correct. Yeah. But I know. It's and we could probably point. save money if we went someplace else. But we're trying to keep it in. So. Um, I'll make we'll a recommendation to raise it for a thousand dollars. You're okay. Every, is everybody okay with going to ten thousand? Yes. Yes. Also, well, seasons gave us a good price on our town holiday party, mm -hmm. so we might have to compare notes a little bit. To see. <laughs> Apples to oranges. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. So everybody's okay with uh, eight zero one two five two six five five sixty going to ten thousand. Yes. yes. Please. Thank you. Uh, fire department hardware and parts. A thousand was requested. A thousand was recommended for eight zero one two five two six five six twenty. We didn't spend that much in hardware and parts last year. Um, anything we're looking to do here, Chief? Well, usually hardware and parts is. That's why I was a little confused when I saw batteries coming out of the equipment. Okay. Um, hardware and parts is going to be our uh, <coughs> supplies for inspection, cleaning supplies, paint, all those other items. Um, we usually use Home Depot on that. Um, and some of our miscellaneous stuff that our mechanics buy. So, which, as we're getting older, we're going to be, we're getting more. Okay. 
So this is a bit of a catch-up item also, maybe? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, understand some of the stuff, like Jimmy Stewart is our, is our in-house mechanic. He's done work for DMF and everything. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're fortunate where he can, oh, I have this in my garage. We have stuff that we get where we're not going to have to do the purchasing, but it's nice to have it there when we okay. need it. Is everybody okay with the uh, recommendation of 1000 for item 620? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Moving on. Fire Department Clothing Allowance, 801 25266 000, 45,000 was requested, 45,000 was recommended. Um, could you just give us the backup of what that would be, Chief? Um, that, is, that is the yearly clothing allowance for all the members. Um, speaking with Joy, we we're trying to keep an eye on it every year as you know, either increases in the amounts or we get more members. So, uh, I as for Mr. Zicko, you have more members, so. We, right. I, I got three waiting to try and come in. So, okay. um, I think. Not a bad thing, right? Right. I think we were at about 43,000, was it last year? You spent 38 the last 38, the last yeah. Year. Like I said, just speaking with Joy, we've been putting a little extra cushion in it just okay. for that fact, so we, we don't then get caught short. That's also contingent on guys making their credits. Well, there might have been a few that didn't. That's why right. the number might fluctuate a little bit okay. year to year. Well, we were at 10, maybe, that didn't make it last year, so. Is everybody okay with that, gentlemen? So, they, so if, if they don't make their credit, they don't get the They don't make their so percentage, much. right. They have to make 50% of the fire calls that's, uh, to, to make their clothing allowance. So if they don't make the percentage, they don't get a check. And, and how, are we, how are we doing so far with percentages? Are we where we've been in the past? We're getting uh, increased percentages? It's, we, it varies. We, yeah, it's up and down. We, do, we have the usual group that is you know, up at the 100% that are okay. good. We have a couple that are playing catch up, but it is getting better. Okay. Um, how many uh, active do you have? With that, or how many could qualify potentially? Right. What's what's our max exposure? Well, by town ordinance, we're allowed to have sixty, uh, and we're around fifty-five, fifty-six. We're very close to that number. The fluctuations the last couple. We had a couple of guys just, I think, resign. We have we have they moved out of town. Three members that. Uh, will no, won't, uh, no longer be on the active roles. We have two that moved out of town. We have another one that's going to be going to associate member. So does uh, that mean it's going to 52, Chief? Right, it's going to drop down again, but then I have three, three members on yeah. a back burner that are given applications, so it's, now it's going to go one, up again. And one junior is becoming... We have a junior that's going to be coming up the ranks. Okay. So. Are we okay, gentlemen, with uh, funding the uh, recommended by... Yeah, because I think... You know, our max exposure with some, it looks like some people get a differential for yes. uh, extra duties, you know, puts us right against that 45. So yes. if they're pushing it. Everybody okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Moving on, uh, fire preventative maintenance trucks, uh, 10,000 was requested, 10,000 was recommended. And I'm sure 10,000 will be used. Yes, that, well, that's a preventive maintenance, that's your oil changes and, and all that, so. <laughs> Now, does this include the PMs? The actual that, is PM? the, that is the actual PMs. So that's the truck going out, getting the oil change, filter changes. They do the, the checks from front to back. And then they'll, <coughs> then they'll provide us with the list of uh, what they recommend to be repaired. And last year, it looks like it went to Paramus. Yes, Paramus has pretty much got the best number for us right now. And you're satisfied with that work that was uh, done now? Well, Paramus also, mechanics. We're also going to have Ridgewood also. Right. Yeah, have I have no problem with the work being done. Our, our biggest issue part. runs into Paramus. Um, we're still trying to get, because we have to get quotes. Paramus is used to, you know, someone brings their truck in, my truck is broken, fix it, here's, just give me in, we'll write a check. Um, with Ridgewood coming up, it's going to give us another option, which is nice. Mm -hmm. We can spread it out a little bit. Um, I wasn't able to go to the meeting with Dan over there. Uh, but from what I understand, it's a very good facility. Um, so I'd like to try branching out a little bit. Uh, Paramus, like I said, the mechanics, a friend of mine's a mechanic, but they also, they have a big business. Sure. They have a lot of, a lot of departments use them. So if we have the option to go to Ridgewood and maybe we can have a better time frame for returns, that would be great. So. Have we, so it's not the quality of the work, it's the issue of getting it there and getting it back. Sometimes getting it there, finish. getting it back, and like I said, the biggest issue is because we need quotes, it's hard to, I spend a lot of time trying to 
Yeah, I need a quote. I, I need a quote. Yeah. I need a quote. Gotcha. <laughs> no, okay. Can, okay. Can Can we, we, uh, 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 excuse me. Stop. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say. Uh, I mean, we signed a shared service agreement with yeah, them. That's Can we put that in as a uh, a requirement of entering into that agreement? Because it's great to have an agreement, but if they won't provide us something that is required, according to Marianne, quotes are required. Uh, for well, purchasing. I, I want to look into that because, as Pete says, some of the other departments seem to get by without it, and so that's one of the things I want to is that look into. Is that because they have a purchasing agent? That's what I was going to ask. Is that because of... I, I don't think so. I think it's something else that... So I was going to ask the same thing. Can we yeah. research that with the other departments Maybe and yeah. see how they, how they don't get quotes and we have to if get quotes? If you think about it with your own personal car, too, you're going to go to three mechanics, get three different quotes. How many of those mechanics are going to keep giving you quotes? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you go to the well so many times before they yeah. say, well, you're not going to use me anyway, so right. why, why am I going to be able to charge us for the quotes? Should, right. <laughs> shouldn't some of this be scheduled, though, just like a mechanic? I mean, an oil change is Well, that's, that's scheduled. Bucks. That's the PM. Right. Well, that's, that's this item. That's We're talking about this. No, understood, but like, <clears throat> do we need a quote? Like, do we know what a PM costs for? Well, I'll get the well, Again, I can't do the work without a purchase order in place, so I have to get the quote. <coughs> so I call them up, give me a quote, then we get on the schedule. Okay, sure. when's the next availability? Okay. Rec goes in, and then as soon as I can get a PO and send it to them, because I'll, I know there's been questions in the past, so I make sure I tell the vendors, look, don't do anything until, and I'll email them the actual paperwork that I got. Here you go. You will get paid. When can I get my work done? Okay. Yeah, so I'd like to look into something like an open PO, like we've discussed in the past, to say why can't we just draw office for I think yeah, certain things you need quotes for. I'm not saying they don't right. have their place, but uh, we, we've had that issue in the past for, yeah. for a long time, right. Peter. Where mm -hmm. you know you need it, you yeah, need it right. now. Yeah. By the it's time a fire you get vehicle, it, it's an emergency it's, vehicle. Right. It's, it's done, yeah. right. and you know it it sits there and it never Correct. gets utilized. Yeah. So I'm okay with that. You know, first. Yeah. Obviously, there yeah, should, be a, you know, we're should going, be a dollar limit on it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, the intent, I guess, Mr. Mayor, was to go with Ridgewood to have dual... Well, to have another so, option, right. To have another mm -hmm. option, but if we need to get three quotes, quotes for, for Ridgewood also, and three right, quotes... Right. We're just now, we're getting, now, now we're just hindering them even <laughs> yeah, more, and I just... The, I, I just kicking uh, the can down yeah. the line. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's something I want to look So, at. I guess this is for PM work. Um, is everybody okay with the 10000 and 10000 mm -hmm. Yes. I'm okay. The, the other question, are, do we use any of that... Um, the county services for the for the preventive maintenance stuff or no or no we uh, we can we I think we have the contract with them we have I, we I never so. yeah. went further with it um, okay. so but I believe that's something else that's available so we have three facilities once we get the Ridgewood one finalized once we get the Ridgewood okay. yeah we have plenty to go to and, and how often have we used the county facility to do I don't think maintenance we've never used the county never used it. nope right. may I ask do you know why. We, we, we were just using, last year we were using Paramus, it just was working out as far as getting okay. the trucks fixed, so okay. we weren't... Uh, when I was chief, I was pretty much denied PMs one year. <laughs> uh, to be honest, and, throw, throw it out there. Yeah, yeah. and uh, was they, that, the, they, that was the go-to? They, they were looking to use, um, I think, Bergen Brookside at the time. Okay. It, was, it was the administrator and the mayor at that time that didn't want to use certain vendors and... Okay. It was a difficult year. <laughs> the, okay. And the, the, the private vendors, uh, do you still engage with them at all? or? Yes, we do, but again, it, it, it becomes cost. Okay. Because like Paramus, their numbers have come in cheaper than fire and safety services, okay. where they're the Pierce manufacturer. So okay. it's. I think one of my years as chief, we used fire and safety for the two Pierce trucks because there was a um, recall on both trucks okay. so they figured while it's there for the recall let them do the pm but the other two trucks were neglected that year so okay so i would still playing catch up on some of these trucks so really it amazes me how anyone could say no to a pm <laughs> that's water under the bridge i'm not here <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so everybody's okay with zero 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 at ten thousand yes all right Thank moving on uh, fire hose testing 801-2526-7001. 3,000 was requested. 3,000 was recommended. Is everybody okay with that? I, again, I, I understand we want to add, have uh, some cushion. Uh, some of these lines are catch up, but this has been. It looks like an invoice for the past two years at 2,100. Do we anticipate it being more expensive? 
Well, it, last year too, we also bought all the new hose. Okay. So all that new hose did not, it came certified. Sure. So that was out of that number from last year. So, but this year it'll this have year to be. Will, it will be tested. Okay. So. Even though it's still, some of them are still wrapped up brand new, still they're still going to have to be tested. Well, did, last year, did you test the hose? Did you do the hose testing before you purchased it? I thought you tote tested the old stuff. No, uh, no, it wasn't the old stuff I didn't do because we have all that hose that's out of service. So that was pulled off to the side and wasn't tested. And then the new hose came in, and uh, again, that came as. Uh, Certified from the manufacturer, so we're required to test that. But it, you're have so you have an additional quantity of hose as opposed to the la prior two years. It seemed like like Mr. Holman said it was flat. Right. Well, we so would think you would replace. You know, we went. We replaced all the four-inch hose with the five-inch hose, so we got more of that than we had okay. four-inch hose. So that will be uh, have to be tested this year. It should so, be it should be more this year than it has been, been in, in, in prior years. Yeah. yeah, we also added some other hose, so it's we, actually our hose inventory is probably increased. And did we um, for the hose that's been taken out of service? Have we found a useful use for it? Uh, um, <clears throat> there was a bit of an issue with that. Uh, it was removed from my firehouse prior to able to get the inventory sheet to Mary Ann. It's up here at the DMF, um, which I just uh, learned t uh, three days ago, which I was shocked. Uh, I had no idea. Uh, Somebody told. They were told by someone in the firehouse, they said that it had to go off. Now, Mr. Sears apparently notified them because he wanted to make room for the Christmas tree sales without okay. notifying me okay. or Adam. And next thing you know, it was removed, and I think it's on the side of the building someplace. Yeah, the, the DMF would like to reclaim that space I as soon as possible. I have gotten many calls from Bill <laughs> okay. about that. We're okay. trying to complete that inventory. It makes it difficult that it's not yep. on site right, anymore, and it's up here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm hoping to have that done with, uh, next week sometime. Okay, so. let me know how I can help you out, if at all. To get well, I have the that. spreadsheet. We're basically, we're using the spreadsheet you sent me. It's going to be all broken down, and then from there... Uh, I couldn't tell you it's difficult, and I explained to Marianne values. I mean, some of that hose goes back to probably the 90s, <laughs> you know, so it's hard to say what it's worth, who's going to be interested in it. Um, Can we donate it? And this stuff was never used? No, this is only active hose that was on the trucks. Well, oh, okay. yeah. as to donate, it depends on the value. So once we come up with a reasonable value, then we can explore options, whether the county has a sale, you know, maybe they can do it in their sale. What should we just participated in when they do vehicles? I was just, I was just wondering if there's departments out there that don't, you know, that their hose is even older than 90, <coughs> that we I'm, can help them out. I'm sometimes sure there's places, yeah. Third world countries sometimes. Right. Third world countries sometimes. Third world countries sometimes. Yeah. We've got of, these rural fire departments even in this country that yeah. have. So, so that's what I'm saying. If there's yeah. some rural fire department that have hose from the 70s from the and ours is the 90s, it's still better than their hose, which I'm sure there are. Right. Um, so that's why I was asking if we could just donate it. And Everything's driven by the value. So once we figure that, it, it, yep. it factors into what we are allowed okay. to do with it. All mm -hmm. right. So gentlemen, we okay with the, um, with the hose testing item? Yes. Yes. Item 001. Thank you. Uh, purchase of pagers, 801-25267002. 5500 was requested. 5500 was recommended. Uh, we spent a lot of money. We spent about 4500 last year in purchasing pagers. Um, was this catch-up or just uh, replacing no, them? No, just replacing them as they get older. And okay. Is, do we have a view on, so, you know, cell phones become old every six months. Do pagers <laughs> become old every, only because, you know, are, are, we, gonna, are we looking history. at 5000 in Forever. perpetuity, or is this going to be the last of Between replacement of ones that are no longer repairable and purchase of new ones as they stop servicing, like the brand of Motorola pager we use, it's called the Minuter. They started at the Minuter 1, they're currently on the Minuter 6. They're no longer servicing mm -hmm. the 1, 2, 3s, or 4s. Okay. The 5s they'll still service, and the 6s they'll still service and support. The other ones are beyond serviceable, so if it breaks, it's... Huh. How old are those approximately when they Well, the Minuter 6s came out about a year ago. The 5s were out for about two, two and a half years. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so looking, you're probably on like a five year. Because yeah, okay. yeah. I'm looking at 13, 14, 15, we spent zero dollars on mm -hmm. replacing pagers. So we're probably paying, still playing somewhat of a catch up with right. buying pagers. That, from what I'm seeing in the, in the numbers. I mean, right now, I'm just curious have, if that's. Might say to maybe. say in future years it would be 3,000 to. What does it run a page? Replace. About $600. 600 oh, okay. So okay. you're talking, you're getting. And we've got currently about three spares right now okay. that are 
working, yeah. serviceable, and repairable. And we went with you know three years of zero expenditures, even though money was budgeted zero was spent. So I'll leave it at that. Those, those were some difficult years. Uh, <laughs> stop blaming Just, everybody else. <laughs> has, has something? Uh, is there anything that has uh, replaced the pager? I mean, yeah. you know, everyone is walking around with a cell phone. Uh, is there something that? Uh, is as reliable that we can count on? I mean, or? well, we have like we have the e-dispatch system, and it it does work through the phones. Now, there's a couple factors that can you know get in the way. Or is, is the guy getting service? Is our dispatcher speaking too long? Because there's only a short window. So some of the dispatchers, you know, town Washington Township Police, the Washington Township Fire Department, and as it drags out, boom, it ends. So the guy, will, you know, you know, oh, okay, it's nothing. And if our computer that provides the uh, service for the e-dispatch goes down no. for some reason, you don't have and e -dispatch. then nobody's getting the dispatch. So. The pager is more instantaneous. Also, the the phone is a, a minute, minute and a so half we, delay, yeah. two the, minute the, delay. We use both when there's an we issue. Use when when so it's not when like the one is a backup. Yeah. When, both once the page goes use. out on the pager, it'll mm -hmm. actually then hit the cell phone mm -hmm. on top. So that's okay. that's our backup to the pager. And we will tell guys if, if the e-dispatch is down, we do let them know that the e-dispatch is down. Make sure you have your pagers on. Because right. um, okay. some people don't use their pagers anymore. That's There's a few. I, I use mine. Okay. Where does the siren come in? That's the third level? The siren is, <clears throat> again, I've been out on the lawn doing the landscaping and all that. The siren is primarily sounded from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Uh, during the daytime, we try to have that sound all the time just to make sure the members know something's going on. After 10 p.m., from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., we only sound the siren in an actual work and fire, something along those lines, uh, just to kind of wake the guys up and go, oh. And it also yeah. alert, it alerts the uh, community also that something's going something's on. Something's going on. Beware. The blue okay. lights are going to be coming down the street, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Just because the question was raised when in this project, the drainage project, as you know, the wires were cut, as we recently realized. And then there was a question, well, do we even need it? So yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yes, we do. Are we ever How many gonna... towns in, in Bergen County still use the siren? I would say almost all of them, except for like Hackensack, obviously. Paramus doesn't use one, but yeah. yeah. Hillsdale. As far as the past, Hillsdale's the one you probably hear better than. Hillsdale's is always going off. I hear it on my house all the time, yeah, so yeah. I hear theirs more than I hear ours. So <laughs> ghost whistle. All the towns yeah. in the valley. You don't hear the sick one over on uh, mm -mm. what's that? Uh, Cl that Cleveland? Calvin. Calvin. No, Calvin. You, that's the, that that's is, that is the sickest sound you ever heard. <laughs> that, that is, yeah. Well, no, we, once once we get through this and I have some money, we, we know what the problem is, just brushes. And it is the one over on the other side of the park we over by uh, Kennedy Me, working? That's, no, that's in, in my building. That's gone. That was taken off the pole. Um, Doo doo. We found, uh, we found some vandalism killing the power to it, then the squirrels moved in. Uh, and we took it down, and actually the poor kid from Westwood that took it down for us, uh, from Westwood DPW, got attacked by one squirrel as he took it off the pole. Uh, but that's in my firehouse. We actually have to repair that. Uh, but we never put it back up because we were having issues. Power was getting cut. Um, Can we put it in, in uh, rigid metallic conduit so the yeah. power can't get cut? Um, yeah. um, there's ways to prevent it from being cut. Right. I, 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 we had discussed because I'm not sure as far as uh, putting it in a new location, how's that? I mean, that would be grandfathered in at the end of Kennedy Drive. I don't know if that's something where we could just throw it in where the public can we uh, scream and rave, rave. Can we discuss that off? We'll discuss that yeah. offline after. I think that's an important thing. Um, so well, is everybody is okay it, is with it? coverage on that side? Do you hear sirens in the township of Washington no. if it's not? No, and one of the issues we had discussed, which I even went so far as to talk to the county exec and PSENG, the optimum height for those sirens are 40 to 45 feet. So okay. we were trying to get new poles. and. Basically, PSEG. Well, we don't do that. And if you get it and you pay for it, and you give me a call back, maybe someday we might reimburse you some money. Hey, thanks. <laughs> so, okay. I put my hands up like this. So, so yeah. Uh, even discussions previously about the complaints about the town hall siren. It's really not at the optimum height. If we raise it up a little bit, maybe the complaints will stop. Calvin Street is just. Can we put it in the clock tower? In the tower? Well, outside, outside. The, uh, up on the clock tower. Yeah, I'm sure they make uh, a mount for it. Yeah. It would be just finding a place to mount it and then. Having the wires run. Well, where's, where's the one here now? It's in the. It's, it's on the pole the right outside the, the street. 
But by the DPW yeah. back entrance. Yeah, right. right by the street, right? And you put it on the oh, it's yeah. not the, old, the, the old, the old, the old fire? Uh, no, it's in the park. I mean, I mean the PD? It's the DPW it's the lot. It's right in the DPW yeah. lot on, right. on the pole there by the uh, by the exit in the back by the oh, soul so shack. So, right so now the wires got cut on this side of the building. Yeah. yeah, it should be raised up. Okay. There. The box for it's in the basement of the The control box is downstairs below headquarters. Oh, okay. Below That's police station. That one used to get cut also. Years ago, that was I was told it was an accident when the deep, the dump trucks came through with the yeah. the bodies up and they just happened to tear down the wiring. So I'm not blaming anybody for that. I'm not blaming just, anybody. <coughs> accidents do happen. So is everybody okay with uh, purchase pagers? Fifty five hundred requested. Fifty five hundred recommended. Yes. Sir. Yes. Is that good. Mm -hmm. uh, turnout gear. Uh, fire department eight zero one two five two six seven zero zero three. 33,000 was requested, 33,000 was recommended. Um, from looking at it, is this a huge catch-up year that we need to do, or? Uh? Well, we, we did run into a snag last year with, with the purchase, um, so I increased that because we weren't sure if we were gonna get our gear last year. Usually we were around $16,000. Um, so I had, I had doubled because we weren't sure if we were gonna get last year's gear in in time and thought we were gonna have to double it up. Um, we are playing a little catch up because uh, after 10 years, we have to take the gear out of service. So, um, did we get last year's gear? Or we did yes, we did. That's why uh, 33,000, like again, that was going to be double because we weren't getting this so year. With 20 we can bring more. it down again, but if, if we can give a little bit more, it'll help me out and just, you know, that's what, what they need. Yeah. Well, you, you've been getting 16.5, so if we, if, if well, right. this is something that we never before, if you look back in 11 and 10, there was really nothing ever spent, and then we've dedicated this line mm -hmm. every year doing 16.5. It was usually a capital item, I think. Yeah, it was a capital item, so we were just throwing it out there, and what we did, we budgeted that this is what we're going to do every year, so we don't Correct. have to have a huge expenditure. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, the, the NFPA standard switched probably right around then to 10 year. 10 year on everything. 10 years, after 10 years, it's no longer right. supposed to be used, so. Exactly, so that's that was the reason why we kept it at 16.5 as opposed to having it, because back in 2011, I mean, they had old <laughs> stuff that really wasn't even functioning. You know, and at that time we also got the uh, washer and dryer, right? Which gave it a little bit of uh, preservation, so to speak. Um, so, you know, how much ketchup do you need? Not a lot, but again, With twenty thousand work, chief. That's that's more than enough. Like I said, we had put it in there. We doubled it because right. we were kind of getting to the end of the year, going, uh "Oh, are we going to get it? Am I going to be really?" Okay. Hanging out to dry. Say, Everybody move up, reduce move up a little bit from 16, but 20. then come back to once we got the catch up done. Yeah, let's right. do our little catch up and let's come back. So we'll reduce that by thirteen thousand dollars if everybody's okay. Yes, please. Yes, yes. yes? It seems like a good idea. Um, so we put twenty thousand in zero zero three and reduction of thirteen thousand um, total from the original requested and recommended budget. Do you have a uh, a schedule? You know of uh, retiring equipment that looks forward so uh, if it's a 10-year roll-off and we have you know we have long-standing uh, members that they're gonna be require gear yeah. in well, two we, years on our inventory we keep track of our inventory so we start looking the year before so at nine years we'll start looking at a list going okay and we'll make up our, okay starting from the top Bum, 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 this many sets of gear you guys are the next one you're getting sized and you're gonna get replaced Okay, so this is not only new gear, but this is for new members, but also retiring retired, gear. Retired, yeah, retired gear. So we have a plan of moving yep. forward now with this money being allocated every year. One year, year we yeah. almost spent like 60000 in capital to get, because, yeah. to get where we needed to be, huge, right. And it was a big hit. Mm -hmm. And that's why and we decided to... And that was probably because a lot of prior gear that those guys wore were purchased at the same time yeah. also. Exactly. And they, right. yeah. yeah, so now our dates are, are, yeah. are yeah. spreading them out. So it's a smaller hit every so year. Smaller hit every year. Right. That makes sense. So everybody's okay with uh, re reducing that by 13000 to 20000 uh, for 801252670003, gentlemen? Yes. 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 Thank yes. you. <clears throat> Moving on, uh, Fire Scott Pack Compliance, 2500 was requested, 2500 was recommended. Um, I guess my question to this was, is don't we need to purchase all new Scott Packs? Well, the Scott Pack compliance, that's when we're dealing with our bench testing every year. Okay. Where so they come in and look at it. Right. Yeah, the other one's in capital. Scott Pack's going to okay. be capital. Right. Everybody okay with that? We spent about half that. Uh, we spent a little 
Are we anticipating a change in that, Chief, that we budgeted so much more? Or? Well, as the packs are getting older, they're, the biggest concern is when the guy comes in, what he finds. Because the actual testing is a, a set figure. Okay. So when he comes in and then he's like, oh, Chief, okay, this regulator's bad. I found this. Um, oh, so it's... The mask is not serviceable for this unit anymore. we got to replace it. So that's why we put, maintenance a little Right. Bit. So we kind of keep that like that so we have that option. When he has to do a repair, it's, no, I don't have to come back and beg for the money. It's there. He can do the repair. Boom, we submit it. It's been 2500 gentlemen, for years. Um, do we want to continue that and leave that's it alone? Is that okay, Mr. Cumming? I think Roman? so. Yes. Moving on, uh, fire ladder testing, 80125-268-002-2500 was requested, 2500 was recommended. Um, again, it's testing of the ladders. Um, I'm sure it's the same situation when he, if he gets there and the it's ladder a, can't be... Yeah, is, it's a that, fixed number when he service. does his testing, if and then he finds out, oh, you need new heat stickers on it, you need this done, and they'll take care of it. Is everybody Did, okay? Is, you going to work with this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Mr. Alman? Yes. Uh, fire department internet is now included in the phone bill, so can we zero delete that, Marianne, since we don't need it? Uh, yes. So we'll zero delete um, 801-2526-8003 because it's now included in the phone bill. Uh, department of Fire death benefits, uh, I guess there was a requested amount. Well, if you see the note, it's fully funded in the oh, reserve. It's, oh, it's yeah. fully funded in the reserve, so there's no uh, recommendation there. I got, I got to flip the page to get that. <laughs> Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. uh, fire hydrant service. Um, one, that's contractual, right, Marianne? So, what's that? What's that? That's their what's number. number. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's that's a contractual number. For that's correct. Yeah. Contractual, yeah, that's but it's billed by base by hydrant. Yep. Yeah. Does that include uh, painting? Last year we talked about this. They are they are responsible to paint, and they promised us they would paint some last year. I don't know if that's been done. If not, I've if somebody seen gets me a list, some have we can paint. request I've seen them. some, yeah. Some, some series. You drive down the yeah. street, and like six of them are not painted, then three in between those six are painted. Yeah. So I was just curious who decided not paint this one, not paint this one. I've had residents while I'm walking my, my dog and my children say, how come they got their hydrant painted and I have the same hydrant? Because I remember you saying last year some of them didn't get painted because they were going to be replaced. But I don't think they're going to replace that many if hydrants. If somebody wants to get me a list, I can put the yeah, request in. Well, can we just tell Suez to just do an inventory and so we don't have to waste time? And well, they did, we're supposedly did it last year. I can they did not paint every hydrant, I can. Yeah. No, no, that, no, yeah, they do an inventory, but they, it's at their own discretion when oh, okay. it's painted. So what I'm saying to you, if there's ones that specifically you want attention. Do you have a, do we have a list of fire hydrants in town I don't know if they've we have well ha we have a map from Suez that gives okay. us and then all the numbers <coughs> um, but yeah as far as the painting I've seen the little the little van out there like I've seen them here on Pascac and then the guy misses the next three and Correct, I see him there with his lights on so it's yeah I don't understand as what much as I'd like to tell him hey go paint all my hydrants mm -hmm. good luck with that uh, I will follow up with you chief and Mm -hmm. I will take a ride around town. <laughs> you can hop in a car and we'll, we'll go take a cruise. Want a can of paint? <laughs> some, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Alvin, some have been painted, but why, like the chief said, yeah, arbitrarily no, three in between one, haven't been? The one in front of my house was painted, but, you know, there, there are ones down the block that aren't. Correct. Right. I'm the same way on my mm -hmm. block. So yeah. all your neighbors think you got special treatment. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Ah. Ah. Which isn't true. Which isn't, which isn't true. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it's good to be on the council. <laughs> Fire department physicals, 801-252710, uh, 1500 was requested, 1500 was recommended. Um, are we okay with that, gentlemen? I think so. What does a physical cost? Uh, you know? It would be it's in like, the detail. It's like 250 maybe? Physical costs. It depends. I you don't have to do them I mean, after they've three guys been. Going. No, this would be the initial, when they join. The initial application. So, like right now, we've got yeah. three applicants that are. They were 280 apiece. So yeah, so last right. year, then at the last one of the year was 275. I'm not sure why. So there's 900 right there. And there, there are numbers. there are other individual. Mm. I recognize the names for people who have been on. So I don't know if it's an they're at a certain anniversary or a certain age. No, um, <clears throat> that had been discussed. Um, Bobby Thompson, when he had age 70, because we have the same same doctor, he was actually going every year on his own at the top. Uh, dime. 
and getting a physical done every year and supplying it. It came into this discussion and then I was, uh, apparently it's it's not permitted, we, we can't force them to do that. So, um, so basically this would just be on the initial members coming in and going up to urgent care, wherever we These are all the are. juniors. Yeah, and, um, and by the way, Michael, if you said you saw a name, Jr., these could be sons. Roy's son. Oh, yeah, son. That's yeah. Yeah. okay. Uh, Their sons. Pete and Neary Jr., Jr. Yeah, you know, Roy Shera Jr., those are, those are the oh, junior, I don't see junior the members. Junior. Yeah, <laughs> family business. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> that's right. great. And I don't think we should be discussing names, could probably a HIPAA violation, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> so. Well, no, probably Oops. not, because they're. Yeah, it's part of them technically almost it, just bringing up my employee names. Not talking their job performance. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so are we okay with leaving it at fifteen hundred dollars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Got three already. Wonderful That's family right. tradition. Mm -hmm. uh, late the service awards program, low sap, uh, ninety five thousand was requested, ninety five thousand was recommended. Um, are we waiting for the numbers for twenty seventeen to come in, Marianne? Is that what it is? It's, it's part of your package for Monday night. Oh, okay. I just I got my, oh, no, my, my, my I have the old print I have the old print out it shows zero for last year. Yeah, no, no, yeah, we don't pay them out. That's what one of those items that I said doesn't get paid out until now. I didn't get it. So there's twenty one for the ambulance and twenty five for the fire. Seventy two times not sure what the exact amount is. But yeah, that's how it works. It gets paid out. Um, two seven two zero zero. Now, after the lists are compiled. Okay, that's fine. I just that. the page. It's not in there. It's not in there. Well, she said there's 72 eligible people on. It's that. on your. Okay. It's on the agenda for Monday night. The approval of the list. So what's our max exposure? I don't know. I guess that's if you took every member and this assumed amount. they could make it. But like you've done with other things, you don't. You do more realistically on how many you think you're going to get. Again, I mean, that was another thing that used to be a number that we'd stick in, I don't want to say capital, but somewhere, and then we decide to fund it on a regular basis, putting X amount of dollars in there. Okay. So. I'm okay with the 95000 uh, Are you gentlemen okay with it? Is it adequate? Mr. Cassio, Mr. Yeah. Allman? Uh, do you guys know, I don't know off the top of my head, what is the amount that per individual? Do you know? Is it twelve fifty or is it more? I think more? it was twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Yeah. I think that's what the last number was at. So you yeah, said if it was it's seventy two. So it'd be ninety thousand that's gonna be paid out this year if it's twelve fifty. And that's what you had budgeted last year was ninety thousand, and that's what's going to get encumbered for this for last year, and then this yes. will get encumbered in twenty nineteen, is what it says, right? Yes. Payable in twenty nineteen. There was a discussion though, uh, and I don't know where we are on it, but uh, there is a uh, escalation. We do have the ability to increase that. Oh, okay. Uh, and but there was an analysis, I believe, that Mr. Pollard was doing to determine if there was room to do that. So I don't know where that stands. My recollection is that it required a referendum, but so I'm not sure. We want to flag sure. it and do a little more research on it. Well, can we fund it? Can we approve it? Because. I think it's going to get paid, but perhaps at Monday's meeting we can ask Mr. Pollard because I, I believe there was a discussion uh, about escalating that uh, base value. You can just give me a minute. I'm going to go to the restaurant. We'll take a go ahead. Go ahead. And this is really funding last year's Correct. anyway. Yeah. Well, there well no, this is not funding 2019. This is funding 2019. This is for 2019. 2019. Okay. Yes. So we increased it by 18 that we pay in 2018. 18, but it's, yeah, but it's right. for 2019. Yeah. It'll be paid in 2019, yes. but it's okay. paid. And you do have more members, so you may have more people that meet the criteria. Yeah. So I guess that's why they increased it by 5,000. So. And again, that's like credits. It fluctuates due to mm -hmm. their performance. So. Uh, I believe this year was a better performance. Mr. Allman, is it okay if we if we leave the line item as it is and then ask Mr. Pollard for more? Um, and yeah, then we'll, we I could mean, always revisit this later I if mean, Mr. Pollard gives us. I would just fund it now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fund it yeah. and then have Mr. Pollard give us the information. And if we can change it and we decide to change it, is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So, late the service award program. We're going to stay with the requested and recommended of ninety-five thousand. Everybody's good with that, Mr. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Moving on. Um, I think that ends. We have a couple I more somewhere else. Yeah. yeah, just Quickly. like in vehicle repairs yeah. and fuel. Yeah. So moving down. Like um, Fire vehicles, page forty-one. Uh, We have fire vehicle uh, tires on page 41. Uh, 
Um, 15,000 was requested, 15,000 was recommended. Um, a I, lot of catch up in there. I, I don't sure. want to speak for Pete, but he said, yeah, a lot of them, when we were reviewing it, uh, dry rotted tires that even though. And there's actually a time requirement, just like the gear on the tires on the fire vehicles. Yeah, so this was a definite catch up, he said. It's all about safety. I mean, if the tires are dry rotted, they should be yeah. replaced. Gentlemen, are we okay with funding this as for the chief and the mayor's recommendations? Yes, sir. Mr. Com uh, Mr. Allman, Mr. Cassio, any comment? Do we have Do we have an inventory of what is being replaced or what's contemplated? I mean, there's. Um, I, the, I don't know if he has it on paper, but. Gentlemen, do yeah, we want to take yeah, a, we we want to take a quick five minute break? Yeah, he did have take a, a break. Can we take a five minute break? I'll, I'll, I'll let him know. Okay. Um, we'll wait well, for the chief to come back. Here we go. Now let's all just take a five minute break. I think they're five minutes. Chief, uh, just before you left, uh, we were on line item fire vehicles, tires, 801-263150002. Um, requested was 15,000, uh, recommended was 15,000. Yes. Okay, as far as the tires, uh, we came into that, uh, the realization when we had the flat tire on our engine, that NFPA requirement, 10 year replacement. Uh, there's also a DOT requirement. Um, we replaced a few tires last year, but we said we didn't want to have the big hit, and we were going to put it off to this year. Um, so tire replacement would be... Could have blamed the old mayor and council for the big hit. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was that was my recommendation. Never blame yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't feel it was necessary. Mm -hmm. We could to, to go crazy all of it, all at once. Uh, engine 43, I believe, has been all replaced. I was just going to ask, out of all the trucks, how many are... Right, so that leaves us three. Um, engine 44 had the fronts replaced. So we're going to do all the backs now? No, we have to do the backs. The fronts are replaced because we had the flat, and then we had a 15-year-old <coughs> tire, and then we had a brand-new tire. Correct. So, so we replaced, replaced that right away. Um, <coughs> so we need the backs on engine 44. Tower 41. Uh, Couple new ones, right? It has it, yeah. Maybe so the fronts also. The fronts it might be the fronts are new where we got to replace the backs, and now the backs you're looking because it's a dual axle, that's eight tires there. And then the rescue, again, we're looking at complete replacement. Okay, and so this, this 15,000 will cover we'll that? It co should cover all everything that we need to get done. That will be in compliance, no dry all, rot. I don't no want dry know. rot, no old tires. ratty tires. We'll, we'll or be anything. in DOT and we'll, NFPA We'll meet compliance. everything that we need to be at, yep. Okay. So, out of <coughs> curiosity, given that dollar amount, who um, does this have to go to bid? No, and most of the tires we've been getting have been state under state contract, okay. so uh, it won't be a bid item. So, do, does the vendor, I, I'm sorry, Mr. Allman, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Come no, on. no, no, no. You, you're I, much smarter than me. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. Boy, I stop. Here now. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Um, no, I was just going to ask. Um, it, everything here is listed as Hutch and Tire. They come out and do it on site, or do you take uh, it? Uh, no, we the the repairs they've come out, um, but no, we bring the truck down there, and then they'll take them off, replace them. Usually, while you wait, right? While we wait, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you answer, you asked my question, Mr. Holman. Thank you. <laughs> so equally a smart gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> now, for that to come out, I'm sure any business would give us an extra charge, and it's not necessary. Yeah. I can grab a couple guys and have them bring the truck down, and spend the hour, and, and have it changed. And wh where is that? Hackensack. Hackensack. So I use my trucks all stuff. They're very good at what they do. That's entire. Yeah. It's yep. around forever. Yep. Yep. Everybody okay with the uh, increase in tires? I guess it'll be for this year and all the trucks will be, uh, all the tires will be replaced and then next year we'll see a deduction in this because unless, you know, if we have a flat tire and it's a different, flat tire, right. we can't, we, can't won't need it. we won't have a big hit like we do this year to get all these trucks up to compliance. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I mean, they're expensive tires. Yeah, yes, they are. They can be used for the physical fitness thing, don't you? Roll, roll, roll down the driveway yeah. or something like that. Moving down, uh, fire vehicle equipment and repairs, 801-263-15005. $60,000 was requested, 60000 was recommended. Um, well, we know we're playing catch up. There's been years where no PM was done, repairs weren't done. Um, just making some phone calls, uh, getting a ballpark number. Uh, I'm well over $23,000 to just try and get us up to where we need to be. Uh, the pumps are all leaking. We have uh, 
a control issue on the tower ladder. They rode the pump, which takes it from drive to pump. Um, that, again, that's something that they actually have to drop the bottom end of the truck to get to. But doing it with the pump saves us money. Okay. Um, the other engine, rear intake problem, we have a leaking uh, axle seal. We still have the brake issue, which has been ongoing. We have so much contamination. Do we have, do we have a, do we, uh, on this braking issue, I, I know, I'm new, but I've heard about the braking issue for years, coming, listening, and it, is there a solution or is there well, a replacement I, of all the brake lines? Is it well, like some kind of, is there a solution and a number that we can put to this to say, well, let's put this brake issue, to, other than replacing the truck eventually? Yeah, but. no, I spoke, I spoke to the vendor because what we did was the, the first repair was they replaced the foot valve that was making the leak. Okay, that was fine for a little while until the contamination got back in there again. Then we had the brake lines replaced, everything was blown out, they replaced the foot valve. It seems the contamination is coming from the air tanks themselves. So that's why I went to the vendor and I said, look, if we do this soup to nuts, it should eliminate the problem. Um, because it's a, a metal tank. Correct. And you're getting a condensation in there and it's just, it's flaking off and you get that one little piece and it clogs up the whole system. So it's not that we don't have brakes, but you, the system is constantly yeah. running, trying to keep itself filled with air. So. Um, that was part of, part of all these repairs, so that's why it's such a giant, you know, number. Is it is the number that is proposed adequate for what you need to do, need even to get, in a catch-up mode? I, I think that's more than adequate, we, um, we, just from the calls that I've made so far. Then what number would would you suggest would be adequate? No, the sixty thousand I think is. Oh, okay. that, 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 That's what I meant. I'm sorry. Um, that is adequate. Like I, I said, I thought for a moment you were going to go down to forty-five. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, but I, but I, what you what what you need is what we need to know. You right. Know. Yeah. No, I, I based that number just on the calls that I made on the things that I know about. So so okay. In in theory, with replacing all the tires, the sixty thousand dollars of past maintenance that we haven't done, it should bring our trucks to. An acceptable level, I think, that um, decent and safe level. Decent, of well, I, I, I just want to make sure you. I guess, I guess, uh, Mr. Clement, I don't want to speak for him, but no, I, I think his question You're was. You're doing fine. I think his question was. I think his question was, as chief, is this enough money to get the trucks that we don't want to? I, we don't want you to come back and say we need, you know, another thirty thousand. Right. I, I understand if an engine blows, that's a different story. Oh, don't say that, please. <laughs> <laughs> please no, don't no. say that. But, but you know what I'm saying. I, we we yes. just want to make sure that we're providing enough funds. In this budget, to make sure the trucks are where they need to be, without any unforeseen conditions, is this seventy-five thousand between tires and equipment repairs we going to get us into twenty eighteen? I gave you sixty, but I'll take seventy-five. No, I was adding the tires. I, I, was, I was adding no, the tires. Yeah. Yes. No, that, like I said, based on the calls that I've made so far, what I know is wrong, plus anything else they might find. Correct. I think it's more than adequate. I don't think we're going to reach that number. But it should be great. Um, you know, it, it's there if we need it because, like I said, once you know, like exactly. any mechanic gets it, yeah, find something maybe, else, uh, and yeah, something yeah. else may come up. You know, the the, the uh, wing to, the to wing nuts bad, roll. and you got to do this, yeah, and you got to do that. Question, just because I'm multitasking up here and half hearing, um, given that the magnitude of the money um, and you, the calls you're making, are you making them to people we have interlocals with or the private companies because we're going to get into purchasing? No, no. I, I used fire and safety services uh, for the fact that they got back to me one and they have been uh, historically a little bit higher than our regular vendors as far yeah. as like Paramus. Yeah. Their numbers are always above Paramus. So I've, I thought that was a good reference to use. Okay, just when we get to that point, so there's not an issue, just because it's an emergency vehicle doesn't mean it's outside of the purchasing rules. So I just mm. want to remind everybody no. that we need two quotes or we can go out to bid on some of the stuff, but right. we don't want to have to go through that process. Right. So. Um, no, I, need, I needed something okay. just to kind of like a scale. Okay. I don't know what it was. So I said, let me just give them a call. I said, I want a ballpark. Give me an idea. Like I said, fire and safety services is historically higher than Paramus. Yes. Okay. So I figured that would be a good way to do it. And like I said, just ballpark numbers. But then we get to the point that it's going to be going to Paramus or Ridgewood. And I'm going to say, this is what I need. Okay. Give me my numbers. And then we can take it from there. Okay. Very good. Okay. How does this dovetail with PM? Is this over and above? Over and above, this? yes. When PM's done, <clears throat> normally we would get a list, one, two pages of Okay, this is what we found wrong. This is what you need to fix. So 
and la would last year's PM have some of the items that you are it detailing? Should. It should, because that's where some of the information I got where I called. Like I said, the, the pump packing on all the trucks is, the trucks are just leaking. They can't hold the water anymore. Uh, the axis, axle seal, um, the brakes, we've had them out a couple of times to different vendors, and it's still a problem. Uh, the rear intake was out. Actually, Jimmy Stewart, I think, worked on it the last time. Yeah. Trying yeah. to get that done. So, uh, hey, they God, God bless Jimmy. Uh, he's, for what the work he does for us, is fantastic. I guess um, moving into the future, once the PM logs come in, if we could just, the council, uh, could just be uh, made aware mm -hmm. of what they say and what the possible costs are for years going forward. So at least we have an idea mm -hmm. of what's going on. So, you know, yep. I'm, I'm in favor of this line item. Uh, I don't know about the rest of you gentlemen. Uh, are we okay with this? Yes, please. Mr. Allman, Mr. Cassio, mm -hmm. any yes, comments? I'm okay with if I may. Yes. Um, I know it's a big number, but I think it's something we need. What are you thinking, Mike? Well, it's just, uh, it is a big number. It's I a mean, very big it's, number, yes. It's, you know, it's maintenance that's required. These are vehicles that, uh, you know, clearly uh, there's a safety element involved for the volunteers who are on them, as well as, you know, to fight a fire. It's just, uh, it's troubling that we got to this position somehow. Uh, one question, do you know last year we budgeted 25, we spent 13. Do you know if we put anything up that wasn't approved? As far as vehicle repairs. Or was it, we don't think it's gonna float so we're just gonna hold tight? I don't, you know what, I don't think there was anything that we put up that wasn't done. I, I don't think so either. That's no. consistent with what I want. As, I think the PM went better than expected. Yes, they actually, the PM numbers even come in better than we had, we had thought. So my only thing is, um, you know, you've detailed brakes, uh, packing on the pumps <clears throat> to resolve this leak. Uh, you, you talked about a couple of other things, and the number was at let's say round number is 25, just to resolve the five items that you went through. Um, and we're building in another 35, it would appear. Uh, so if it's 60, it's 60. Uh, you know, I just think we, as a council, um, you know, want to make sure, and as an administration, we want to make sure that going forward, this stuff is, uh, you know, maintain at the level it needs to be because, you know, a 60K or 75K bill is, uh, you know, some serious change. Mm -hmm. It's not $100 for office supplies. <laughs> so uh, I'm okay with it, but I really think that we, uh, you know, we need to focus on this going Would forward. you agree getting the PM uh, schedules when they get them uh, forwarded to the council so we're aware of what sure. they need is a good idea? I mean, yes. just, so, just so it's not, and then we know what we what's going on and we're not putting these repairs for some reason on the back burner because we just don't want to do them. Um, you know, you're a vital asset to the community. The trucks have to be safe. They have I, to be I, sound to get to the fires, you know. And, and I, it's I think important. for a few years, things weren't being put in to be repaired under the assumption of truck replacement. Okay. Um, especially with the uh, the ladder truck, we were in, on, in the understanding for quite a few years that next year we're getting the truck, next year we're getting the truck. Sure. And, We've heard that. you know, it's just something that went on and we did put off certain repairs because of it. Okay. Now, you know, so I, I, things have to get done with the truck because we, you know, we're actually, you know, we're, we're going to have this truck for at least another year now, probably, you know, before we, okay. I'm just saying the least because of where we're at now. To your point, though, I mean, if that's what it costs to get it up, then yes. Uh, and if we need to, 
uh, appropriate for it and plan for it, and then somehow a truck magically appears. It's just money that's not going to be spent. But a truck is not going to magically appear. So no, no. Okay. No, I understand that, Mike. If I can maybe paraphrase something that I think you're trying to say is, I think what that we want to guard against is. If it needs the work in the 60, let's get it done this year. We don't want to see that only 30 was spent, and then you ask for another 60 next, next year. year. Uh -huh. uh, so, right. Yeah. And, yeah. and would, just a suggestion: what you might do is because there is this purchase in the offing. If there is extra, you can always transfer it into a reserve or something for that purpose. Absolutely. Okay. But I think I think once this budget is approved by the, the mayor and the council. Um, I, I think we should immediately go out to quotes and, you know, the tires should be replaced immediately, right. I think, which is a no-brainer going down to Hackensack. But the other repairs, we should get our quotes we need and get these trucks into the service yeah. shops, whether it's um, at Paramus or Ridgewood or at the I'm county. Already, I agree. Um, deciding on what trucks are, I'm, I'm trying to set up a schedule one at a time. They're going to be going out and, and getting it Would we have to borrow uh, the county's pumper no. or anything like that, or are we no, okay I, for I, it? That's why I'm going to keep it as one. Okay, one that's fine. Get I just, done, you know, that's and then I still have my three, and then there's always the mutual aid that, to cover us. Okay. So, you know, little by little. I think we all agree we have to bite the bullet this year in a catch-up budget, and it's going to be rude to the taxpayers who we respect, and during the, the various campaigns and elections, everybody says the same thing, that we want to keep the taxes as reasonable as possible and not show an increase, but how can we hold off on, on the, the fire vehicles? Yeah, and that's, we can't. That's why we're spending we down no. the We've surplus been, this year because the taxpayers yeah. paid it and it didn't get spent in prior years, so yeah. it's not We should hurt identify them. that and, and use it. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. uh, that, the statement that I so read we, this week was right. We all care? Okay? So everybody's good with please, this? Please, mm -hmm. Mr. Allman, let's, let's okay. with that, please. And, and to Mr. Cummings' point, you know, we always ask the taxpayers to foot the bill on things. And let me just go over history of the last, since 2013. We had a surplus at the end of the year 2013 of $1.7 million. 2014, $1.9 million. And 2015, $2 million. Last, uh, 2016, $1.1 million. And last year, we're down to half a million of overtaxing the residents. Again, it's a big hit, but if we would have spent what we distributed over the last five years, this would not, would not be happen. occurring today. I mean, that's one, two, almost six million dollars of monies that were raised on our residents that we did not spend, which to me, it's a crime. It just, literally is a crime. Just for last year's figure, what did you say it was? Uh, all uh, 600000 Okay, it's actually much less now because of all the spending that's going on, but... Well, I'm just saying, that's yeah. what the... Well, that's what the no, that's because <laughs> last year you guys <laughs> pared it down nicely. Yeah, and it's, well, it's, well, I'm just yeah, using the trend that was the last is, one. Yeah, yeah trended down from two million, $2 million, two million, to, two million to a million to a half a million, mm -hmm. which is getting closer to be almost... Should be flat, okay? Should be flat. Uh, the government is not in a position to make profit year after year. So again, if we're giving the money, let's spend it. I know you're willing to spend it. I know the administration now wants you to spend it, so let's So 60,000 is a good number. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Please, Chief, let's get these trucks repaired. That's all I can say. I'll, we'll, I think we're done with yes. it, right? Yeah, I, I think, think yes. we're done with it. So moving on to fire department uh, parts for inside repairs. 500 was requested. 500 was recommended. Uh, 801-263-15008 on page 42, gentlemen. Um, is that you. okay? Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Everybody's good with that? Mm -hmm. What's what, what the line on? Zero, zero, 008, second from the top on page yes, 42. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. It's 500. Yep. Uh, moving down the page to 011, uh, 80126, uh, fire vehicle parts for inside repairs. A thousand was requested, a thousand was recommended. Um, we spent about 600 in that last year. Um, is everybody okay with that? Yes. yes. Uh, and there we I go. believe that's now it without moving on to capital, right? I mean, I know in here somewhere is fuel, but I don't know if you want to. I'm looking for, uh, that's what I was looking for, Mr. Yeah, Mayor. I just don't yeah, know where it right. is. And, and the pages. Mary, would you know where the fuel costs were for the fire department? Oh, um, 
Right. I believe that's the last thing in the. I don't know that they had any input on it, but. Here it um, is. It's uh, 80 on page 54. Yeah. 54. Anything. Um, 5,500 was requested, 5,500 was recommended. We spent about 4,300 increased due to rise in fuel prices. Just so you know, they had no input on the request. That comes okay. from administration because they don't even see the bills. All right. Well, I just want, we just wanted to kind of finish up the fire department. Right. So if everybody's okay with that, um, I guess that's taking last year's number and adding an, an increase to it. Correct. We that's purchased 460 the. Yes, yes. 460.02. Thank you. Oh, 02. We purchased the new chief's car through uh, canceled uh, capital last year, or was that expensed? We didn't. It, it was it was capital co a combination of I think uh, additional funding in one year and then taking out of what was on tap. So, but it was all out of capital. Okay, there was no. It was we didn't uh, recapitalize it. Meaning we didn't uh, go out for bonding on that. It's there may have been some that was funded by band because it wasn't on hand. Um, it was not run through the current. The only see reason you see the police vehicles in current fund is because there's a regulate or some kind of rule that says if it's a police pursuit vehicle, you can't capitalize it. Okay. So all other vehicles are tr traditionally capitalized. Okay. And when is the new? When would the new uh, chief's vehicle or the how does it work? We get a new chief, and it pushes down to the assistant chief. Right. So when when would we be looking at another purchase? Uh, the other car is a 2014. So if we base it at 10 years, 24, depending on the care and maintenance of the car and keeping it up and running. And is that care and maintenance included in the submission? Yes. Yes. What I did was. Um, because uh, actually both cars, but the new car has got the two free oil changes that comes with the purchase, so that's covered. Plus the other car is still covered under a warranty, so I set it up uh, Paramus Chevy as a vendor. Mm -hmm. So this way the cars will go down there. Um, once the warranty is out, then you know. But we we're going to decide do, where. But it's part of the PM, the rent yes. of maintenance. Yeah, I added into the PM. So both cars way, are in both there. cars, so this way they are also getting a specific PM. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And what are we doing with the, not for your, uh, not a question to you, but what are we doing with the assistant Capital. chief's car that's come off, uh, that's in the parking lot? Is, are it's we selling it? Are we giving it to another department? We're looking into it again. Um, yep, it's a value-based thing again, like the hoses mm -hmm. that yeah. we have to get a value on it because the ambulance corps would like it. Uh, so we're going through that exercise right now, placing a value to see the path that it has to take to get to them. Okay. I mean, okay. Thank you. Anything else, gentlemen? Any other comments? So are we okay with uh, 801-314-60002? I mean, like, like Mary had said, it's, it's a number based on increases that she put together, I guess, based on last year's number with the increase for the fuel. Yeah, I think the mayor had some hand in this, right. um, but I, I suggested the increase because I know just from my business, I'm spending a lot more in fuel than Absolutely. I was. Absolutely, so. yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. 5,500 requested, mm -hmm. 5,500 mm -hmm. recommended. Okay. So that takes care of all the fire department items. I guess we'll um, look at the mayor's capital program for the fire department on um, Actually, well, no, actually, if you, you want to go back, I don't to, know. If you uh, oh, to the, well, I'm sorry, the equipment yes, we have the, one, right? The equipment Mary, one. The, the yep. paperwork I was just going to ask. So, what I did that. when I went upstairs is I, um, I printed out the five years of activity for this specific equipment purchases line, and suspecting that possibly due to differences in who was in the firehouse making the purchases and who was here handling the purchase on this side, that in some years it might have been possibly categorized to fire and safety equipment, so I provided you all with sets of ledgers showing the activity in those accounts. This is for, for um, 490. 490. So page 32. I think you were looking at line 450, but I gave you the 400 in case there were aberrations. Page 32, gentlemen? Yes. Page yes. Uh, 450 and 490, yes. Well, 450 we're going to hold until we get the other numbers Well, back. that's, no, well, right. four. 450, you were looking, you wanted to see, Pete had asked what had been charged because yep. there, it looked like it was fluctuating wildly. 
And what I'm saying is you didn't specifically request 400, but I suspected that some, there might be overlap in those two lines with the spending. So I don't know if Pete has time to evaluate it. Oh, it's 490, not 450. Yeah. 490. And the reason being is the request was 5,000, the recommend was 2,500, and the actual spending last year was just $143 for batteries. I think it's what you said that it depended on who was where you know, where it was going, who where was working up the administration and at the time where they pulled different well, things from. Well, I guess I mean, and we all know this, and we've tried to gravitate towards zero-based budgeting. So perhaps the chief needs more time to evaluate what he expects to put to this line if it's saws or what have you, and then kind of create what you think you're going to spend. What are these real conversions? Uh, I mean, going back to 13 where we had uh, some serious expense that was the uh, the rescue tools the Hamacho rescue tools we converted the hoses rather than being a two hose system they converted it to a single hose system okay so that was that expenditure that was the uh, like the, for the jaws of life the, the, uh, of that type of the stuff right okay. hydraulic hoses and that was a that was the savings they were, you were thinking about replacing the whole, the whole thing, thing right and that saved a ton of money yeah. by converting that to a single hose uh, system Mm -hmm. what, are the, what are those things run now? 15, oh, 15 at least. 15,000. Yeah, so yeah. it was, even though we converted, money we well saved spent. a lot of money. Right. And it got more life out of it, too. So, yeah, so we spent 2,000, almost 10% yeah. 10, 10 of the cost yeah, for so. Yeah, so. Roughly. Do you want more time to uh, get back to us on, on this, Chief? Or? No, I just, just reviewing it, I can see where you know, we replaced uh, chains for the saws, I mean, bulbs for the, for the trucks. Um, research ladder. Carbide is. blades, all kinds Carbide of stuff. Carbide blades, yeah. you know, we get new valves for the, for the pumps, um, which we've been trying to replace. Some of the stuff is, uh, we're still dealing with stuff that was set up for four inch hose, we're now five inch hose. So, I mean, we're upgrading that. And I think that's why we asked for the $5,000. It's, it's that type of equipment that we're, we're always looking to purchase. I mean, so I'm, I'm good with the 2500 uh, Again, uh, if we can be disciplined to spend it, that would be great. Mr. Allman, you're okay with 2500 for yes. 490 Yes. How's, how's the rest of the council? Yeah, that's fine. We okay? So for fire department equipment purchases, 801-25-265-490. We're going to make that item $2,500. It's good. Um, Pete, can I just ask one sure. question on the last page of the 400 account? Uh, the first line item. To me, that seems like it should have been classified either under vehicle maintenance or something like that. Yes. Uh, I'm that, somewhat surprised to that was that, see uh, that here, so it throws that right, account that, out of whack. No, no, that, that, mm -hmm. that was question. That was the um, that was the cylinder hydraulic repair on the tower, which, like I said, I didn't, un I didn't understand that myself, that it was under that line item. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. What year was that? That was the it's 2017 when we did the repair to the tower ladder, um, and it, it got put under the... Uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I, yeah, it should have been reclassed if it wasn't. Right. right. I, I th no, I think I think I think I sent you an email on that. We did work that out. Yeah. That that was a that was just a question on that one. Yeah. Okay. That that was the actual physical repair of the, the ladder itself. Okay. All right. So on fire department equipment purchases, uh, item four ninety, we'll make that twenty five hundred for requested and recommended. Um, everybody's okay with that. Any additional comments? I'm okay. With it. And then the only one that's going to be flagged is the building maintenance yes. once we get back uh, from the chief and Mr. Kaderi, um, we'll go from there. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. So moving into um, Mr. the capital budget for the fire department. Just before we move to capital, oh, sure, can Mr. I just ask, um, uh, can I make a request of the chief uh, if uh, 
uh, you can provide us with a, uh, a list of the trucks and the, the current major work that you anticipate, mm -hmm. and just so we can monitor that that's you know moving Certainly. forward. And if anything else comes up, that we're you know. Uh, yeah, I'll put that together. I'll put it in an email if you guys are alright with an email. Copies and I can shoot it out. Scan the quotes. If, 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 yeah, I haven't gotten any quotes yet. Possible. Yeah, I haven't gotten any quotes yet. Oh, you based referenced some thoughts yeah. about that. I think. Yeah, I, I, I thought I understood. Yeah, no, I didn't go for any preferable. specific quotes. I just kind of oh, asked oh, for. Just I'm sorry. Yeah, just to get an idea of where we might be at. That's, uh, any information would be marvelous. Certainly. Okay. Already, any, any additional things before we move into capital? Yes, I'm sorry. No, no, no. I, I just want to make sure the, uh, everything's okay, Mr. Allman. That's all. The yeah. um, it's a good question. radios. So there was a discussion at one point that I believe Chief Hooper was here. Mm -hmm. You may have. I think you were. Yes. About we were both here. Yep. Uh, current radio system town wide. Mm -hmm. I think that's in, in the capital. That's in my capital. Yes, that's, that's in, well, it's in police, but it's it's mutual. It's right. DMF also, right? right? Yeah, I mean that's right. it's for all department. Yes. When it was bar, discussed, correct. it was going to be yeah, all department Y. All right, so everybody uses radio, but it okay. is. Do it you want to address that one first, Mr. Walmart, or can we go down the list? No, let's go down the list. Okay, so right. under new vehicles, um, I'm not I'm not comfortable in not buying a new truck this year. That's my personal feeling mm -hmm. as as as. Uh, Council President, I believe I understand the I understand the um, the discussion of not buying a new ladder truck in 2018 because of the possibilities of the ongoing study. However, the pumpers are pumpers, and well, the engines. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm using my little four-year-old's term. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for that. Um, the, en the engines are engines, and whether we have whether we do modifications to the firehouse or we don't do modifications to the firehouse. The engine truck is an engine truck, is what I've been told from other fire departments. I know you and I have talked a little about this, Chief. Um, so I, I have an issue with buying two trucks next year. I would like to buy, I, I'm, this is me talking, I'd like to see us uh, go out for a, you know this year of buying, a new, replacing engine 44 in 2018. Um, because engine 44 is 20... It's 1994. 1994, so it's 23 Three years, years old. old so. it's, it's served its useful life. Um, we need to start replacing these trucks, and to buy two trucks next year, I don't think we're doing duty to, this, to, the, to, the, to the citizens. No. Um, it's a lot, it's, 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 a, it's a big investment, but these are investments we've deferred for years. Um, my only reason for that is is that the engine is the engine. I, know, I understand with the ladder truck, we have to make modifications to fit it possibly and all kinds of stuff. So I agree with, I agree with if, well, as long as the ladder truck is going to get us to 2018, uh, 2019, I don't have an issue with it. But this is me talking. Uh, gentlemen, if you'd like to chime in, um, that was just what I saw in the capital that I had an issue with. Um, I think we should go out to bid this year in 2018 for a new engine. Do you want to spread it out? You well, we're going to buy the yeah, burden. But, uh, Peter, did you ask for this? Pete, did you ask for this last year? The, the, at 44? I didn't recall seeing that. Uh, that actually came in my, my sheets that it was appropriated for $670,000. Six, $650,000. Yeah, yeah that, that actually was what came to me in the five year plan paperwork you sent me. And I, was and, I, and I saw that and I said, well, it was, it was you know, determined five years ago we should be replacing this engine truck. And I think to defer it another year is well, to service to everybody. Right. I, I, just, just my feeling on it, and we discussed it a little bit. Um, I'm, not, I, I, I'm not thinking of blowing off the ladder truck completely this year. But what I wanted to look at, since we were in the discussion for the new building, rather than, again, I think the biggest disservice is trying to squeeze something into a little opening. And unfortunately, we have the truck designed, but it's made to go into a 10-foot opening. Um, we just started speaking to the architect. I mean, it would be a 14-foot high door. Um, do we need to stop a second and say, we're looking at this new building, should we backpedal a little bit and design a truck that we're not trying to put in a little opening? Um, I'm, I, I, I just, I don't need to cut you off, Chief. This is the first I am hearing of a new building. Um, I understand or new that. building or modifications. Modifications, to the, modifications right. yeah. of the existing building. I think 
I'm on the I, I'm comfortable with saying modifications of the existing building. But when we start talking about a new building, no, that's what, I just that's what he means by new building. Okay. Oh, it's either, it's either, I, I either, either want, one sure. or the other. I'm speaking about an opening. Yes, yeah. I'm no, speaking no. about an opening. Well, when you say new building, I know people are going to watch this no, on no, TV no. and say, Again, the fire I'm, department's I'm getting a new building. That's gonna, a big new right. thing. No. I just want to put it on record that we're talking about modifications to the building to make it new. Um, um, well, well, we are looking at both while the architect right. is here just to present us with right. the options. But Correct. I don't want to say that's completely off right. the table. We're looking at yeah. both sets of I, options. I understand, but I just yeah. want to, when, we, yeah. when you say new building, I see, you know, no. I know it's thrown out there, building a new building next door and all that, but I, I'm not comfortable with right. saying that right now, so. I, I'm referencing the opening because, and I've had this discussion with some of my guys, is we're, we're, we're going back to the sins of the past. The Sutton Tower ladder, it's not like it's a bad truck, but again, they designed the truck just to get a truck into that opening, and that truck had to come with smaller rims, but and we had to cut down the mounts where the ladder beds, they couldn't put the ladder rails on. And, and that's my argument is why are we revisiting this? We, it, it's a problem if we don't have to, uh, and we said about, uh, if there's extra costs involved about shrinking this truck down, are we getting our money's worth? So I wanted to revisit that before we just go ahead and say, okay, just let's get this truck in as well. Well, that's why I agree with and moving it to 2019 right. after the study's done and possibly and as, next year we decide far, to do modifications right. to the firehouse with the money that's already been bonded. So. Right, and, and, and that's as far as the truck. Now, as far as the engine, I, I just asked you for guys for a ton of money to get this thing up and running. Um, I think if we get this up and running, the truck's only a 94, we're not at the 25 year mark, which is you know, what some recommend. I think we can extend that a little bit further than extending a 1987 tower ladder. <laughs> you know, but like I said, I wanted to revisit, again, I have a problem with, again, just a little opening and then trying to make it fit rather than doing what we should be doing. Um, and that's why I said consider pushing it off maybe to later on in the year before we sign a contract to really get our homework done. Because if we're going to get just a bigger door opening, well, then we don't have to fight. We're losing this, we're losing that. We've got to cut this down. We've got to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and then what are our options? I mean, well, I was looking at the five-year plan saying that we needed a new engine truck. So well, instead, of, instead of putting the burden next year of buying two new trucks. Well, like I said, that wasn't, a, I got that in the paperwork. I was, I was surprised and so I said, oh, let me address it. Um, I, th I think once we get these trucks running, we can extend it out where we're not, and I definitely... So would you be comfortable if, if I, I, I don't know, as the rest of the council, could we put some money there in reserve then for buying a new truck in a few years for, for the, a new engine truck? Um, so we put some number there in capital? Thoughts, gentlemen? So... Uh and you're referring to the engine or the ladder? The engine. I, I, I took, I, based on the chief's recommendation and the study coming in that the mayor has authorized to um, look at Firehouse um, and give us a recommendation whether the, the, the remodeling is possible and other things are possible. Um, I think putting the purchase off, I was all in favor before, you know, when I ran that, you know, they needed a new truck and then in speaking with the chief, when we bastardized this truck, um, that's a good way to put it. Um, <laughs> It, you know, we're not getting our full money out of it, so if maybe possibly changing the size of the door is, is feasible, we could get a, a, a truck that we're not modifying so much, and it may cost less. I was just gonna it's going to cost less, the modification. So more to the, make it. the offset of the door modifications may be less than the modifications to the truck, so that cost will come down, and then we'll have a better, after the architect is done, we'll have a better so, look at this. So um, my, what, what I would say is, is that... Uh, I believe we need to look at the fire department as a whole, mm -hmm. the services that the township asks for them to provide, and what tools they need to provide that service. So, you know, I look at the ladder truck and I say, based on the physical makeup of our town, is it is the ladder truck a requirement of the fire department? You know, when was the last time it was uh, deployed in anger at a fire? Do we have um, housing stock? Do we have commercial stock? Do we have uh, public uh, the high schools, uh, 
the schools, does that stock require a ladder truck? And do we have mutual aid uh, that's available to us? Should we have a fire, should we have a ladder on a permanent basis in the town? We have a rescue truck. Uh, that's clearly necessary. We need pumpers. We need two, I think we have two engines. Uh, we need those. Uh, so I guess my question would be, as we look at the firehouse, the development plan of the firehouse, and uh, purchasing new vehicles, you know, what do we need going forward? And I, you know, I would ask the chief, I would ask the director, I would ask the rank and file, you know, is a ladder truck an absolute necessity in the town of what in Washington Township? I'm going to answer definitely yes. And it's going to be in effect right off the bat without having a ladder that's going to affect our ISO rating, insurance services organization, which if you look at trickle down now it's going to affect the residents insurance rates. Uh, this goes back, uh, Emerson had the same discussion many years ago. They actually brought in a consultant, Bill Peters, um, to do a needs assessment of the entire town. And that was one of the results of that. Um, our ISO rating will, will be affected by it. Um, mutual aid, yes, we have, we have a strong mutual aid. Pascac Valley, seven, uh, seven towns total. We have Paramus, we have Hohokus. As a chief, uh, going back as a fireman, I'm not gonna be that guy inside waiting for my mutual aid to come. What if they can't come? What if I got a call even further? What is that resident, what do I tell that resident? Uh, I'm gonna say wholeheartedly, we need a ladder truck. Is that is your, yeah, that's I, your position of your department? Is that the ladder truck is a necessity? Yeah, the ladder truck is not just for height. We, you know, most of the properties here, a lot of the properties are set back. Yeah. Sometimes we need to operate above the uh, structure, surround and drown situations. You need, you know, it's a 100-foot ladder we have. Some of these houses are set back about 50 feet, you know, and that's, that's one of the key, you know, tool, you know, tools that we use at a, at a situation. We used it at the Howard Street fire. Mm -hmm. It was utilized there. It's, it's our second due truck. Um, it's used at every fire call that we, we go to. We do bring it. We don't always operate the boom, but... Um, it is, it is a tool that's used. And uh, like Peter said, um, the ISO ratings will uh, decrease. Um, the age of the truck now could affect the ISO rating also. Um, we were told after 30 years it, it's not recognized, but that, you know, that's something to be uh, looked into. I can't, you know. Which is where we're at now, correct? Um, yeah, it's an 87. 87. Yeah. Too, yeah, we do have yeah. we do have tall structures too. We have the uh, condos. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in the future in town with other construction that that has been talked about. So, it's a truck. Um, I think we definitely need. It's it's one that we use. Okay, so the ladder is definitely in a rescue. Certainly is needed. Uh, and we have two pumpers now, two engines currently. The ladder acts as a backup third engine, a third pumper. It does have a water tank on it. Um, yeah, we do. And one engine sometimes feeds the ladder truck, you know. Um. So the complement, uh, in your view, is two, two pumpers, a rescue and a ladder. That's. Well, I right. believe what we have is is perfect for this town. Um, okay. I mean, we've had it in the past. Uh, Jamie Powell was chief. Bad storm came through. We were getting lightning strikes all over town. Uh, I was actually on the engine at a residence that had a small fire in the outlet, but then another house got struck, and we had a working fire in the attic. The tower ladder was our first due. Put into a hydrant, had their own pump, and were able to stretch hoses. You know, when we get a storm like that, you know, these large storms, so that we're, yep. now all our mutual aid is getting hit with the same storm, mm -hmm. we could have six calls at one time. One truck goes here, one truck goes there, and, you know, we prioritize, but, you know, sometimes all four trucks are dealing with a serious situation. Okay. I mean, um, 
going to say at least you know, it's a, it is a big ticket item, no question. Oh, yeah. But when you look at it over a 25 year lifespan, uh, you know, I, I think I have to agree with you guys, yeah, right? That, that you know, if you need it, it's it's worth yeah. it. Uh, and also, my thing with um, putting both trucks into next year, obviously Pete's reason for the latter, but the engine also. Um, keeping in mind that you know it could have one more year on it, we want to try and actively look for grants this year for fire vehicles also as opposed to going on the town's dime for everything. Uh, you know, so that's something I'd like to do uh, that I think was lacking in prior years also. I don't necessarily think we need to do the engine next year either. It no, could, it could so be said, put that's off why maybe I asked two years. That money. I know that 60000 mm -hmm. Okay, it's I was just big, looking at it and trying to, to, to not get right. hit with two trucks next no, year. But like I, I said, I when, I, when I got the, the, the paperwork, and I know we, and I was a little surprised. I'm going, oh, they're giving us an engine too with, with this guy. Well, it, that wasn't something I was in putting in my In our discussions with the department, myself, and, and some of the, the, the department, you know, it seemed like we needed a truck this year. And well, I, I agree as with long the as chief. We're, as long as we're saying we don't need it this year, we could, and as long as we do the 75 like I said, and maintenance, I, we can get a couple more years, that's great, right. but... You know, um, like I said, with the ladder truck, I'd like to review it before. Just go ahead and absolutely and, and throw it in. I, I, and I'm all for it because I, if you can modify that door, you know, for let's just say fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars, and we can then get a one point three million dollar truck because we're not making all these conversions, or we're getting a one point two million dollar truck. That's a great thing because then you're getting the truck you really want without all the modifications. And it could be. I'm not saying we need to sign right now, but maybe we look at it and by August I have a decision. We can say, okay, now. A, B, C, and D. We're ready to go. Where we're going to so, go, right. and mm -hmm. this is what we're looking at, and and okay. present it maybe just later in the year rather than. As I'm comfortable as long as you, you you don't we don't need a new truck this year based on the maintenance that the the repairs and the maintenance we're going to do on the existing fleet this year like I said, to offset it like as the as, engine replacement was something I wasn't putting in. I, I addressed it because it was brought to me. Okay. But with the repairs, I think we can. Once the truck's up to snuff, we can get it a couple more years out of it That's where great. we're not I mean, going crazy. You know, right. you're, you're not the, uh, Gentlemen, any other comments on those two items? Um, my only other comment is, Peter, if you didn't put this line item here, where did it come from? I, I'll, I, I'll, I tell said, you, I'll tell you. I didn't right pull here. it out of thin air. So. <laughs> no, you didn't do it. No, this is what happened. Uh -huh. So every year in the budget, you do a five-year plan. That's required. Right. In prior years, whether it was a prior chief, perhaps it was Adam or someone else, put in for a fire uh, engine, engine, uh, engine 44 to replace. So it just came due. No, so what happened year. was when I distributed the capital spreadsheets to the departments, I preloaded what had been a prior Existing. year, what was straggling on there, so to okay. speak. Good to know so where it came I, from. I put that in there for 2018. When the chief submitted his recommendations for this year, he deferred it to 2019. Okay. Did you hear all that? Yes. So, yes. So, Sorry. so the chief had recommended it be deferred to 2019. At, at least 2019. But that's where it came onto the radar. Okay. okay. Right. I, I just know uh, uh, my, my comments were based on comments we had in the last few months and the need for a truck in 2018. It seemed like it was there, but based on the, the new information that's come out, I guess we can defer that as long as the department's okay with that. I just yeah, want to like sure I said, I, I, I just think that we maybe should just take a better look at it before we jump into it. You know, I'd that's, like to have a little great. bit more. I'd like, to, a good idea. I'd like to look at the design again. Maybe something might change. And so before we, we jump, you know, blindly into it, I think, I think it needs to be looked at just okay. a little bit as more. As long as you're comfortable with that, Chief. Yeah. That's, right. Gentlemen, any other comments? Mr. Cassio, Mr. Allman? Just if Comment? Peter is willing uh, to, uh, you know, engage a grant writer, understanding that you saying you could get by with it. But if we, I mean, if there's grant money available, mm -hmm. that would make a significant dent into Absolute these. Free money, yeah, free we'll, money. we'll take it sooner than later. <laughs> yes, right? I mean, there, we should, there we is should. grant money out there, talking to Josh's office. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of yeah. other... Yeah, based on these comments, I wouldn't defer trying to get yeah. the grants. <laughs> and also, to yeah, Marlene Casey <laughs> spoke to that. Marlene Casey, when she was here, spoke about how she's working with Harrington Park right now. Yeah, and she yeah. was pretty comfortable saying that she thought they were going to get it. I don't know what happened with that eventually. Okay. Let's follow up with her. So moving on down to uh, capital equipment, uh, fire department, the Scott bottles. Uh, we got a quote of almost $40,000. Does that get us the... I believe that quote is for 30, right? Yes, that's what that's for 30 bottles. How uh, many do we need, Chief? 
<laughs> more. <laughs> more. More. Uh, come, come June, July, I'm going to have nine spare bottles for the entire department. That's it. This is because the... Because, actually, I can, I can tell you specifically, in 2003, when I was fire chief, this issue came up, and it was the decision of the council at the time. They didn't want to have to play around every couple of years with the money. It was easier to just buy them in bulk, and it's come back to bite us. Now, going back four years, speaking with Billy, uh, and the purchasing I did with Adam, um, I don't know if you, got, you had none, right? I didn't have any of that one. All his yeah. bottles were denied for two years. We wanted to try and spread them out seven, seven, seven. Um, right. Yeah, we, we tried to spread this out and right. sure, it Adam, was denied. Adam's first year we did purchase, I believe, seven. Uh, last year we put in for another seven and the mayor at the time said, these bottles still have another year life left. Why am I spending the money? So I still had that written down. Have these, uh, <laughs> the existing bottles, have they reached the end of their end of life. Yes. regulatory life? Oh yes, my. that's what we've run out. So, okay. so what do we got to do? Well, I put in for 30. I, you know, we're discussing a truck, um, you know, trying to look in if we get if we get packs with these trucks, NFPA requirement is now it's two bottles per pack. We can make a catch up later on to get us. So at a minimum, I need 25 bottles that I have to safely operate. So how many, how many do you have in your how many inventory out today? Of how many? Out of, what's the total inventory? I, I want to say we're losing about 45 bottles yeah. coming out of end of life this year. Wow. Okay. So yes. this is this is not just putting. You're still 50 percent short of what's yes. coming out of life this year right. with this quote. So you really need 50 bottles, let's 50 just say, bottles. or 60 right. bottles. Um, but with that being said, Pete, can we get by with this yes. for this year, and then yes. we phase start to start rephase phasing it, it right. next That's year? Back in a better rotation. To, to come like I, a steady, yeah, I, I don't want to see us know, making five thousand a year or again, something like, like that. Ultimately, you'd like to replace one of the lifespans ten years, or is it fifteen? Fifteen. It's a fifteen-year replacement. Ultimately, you'd like to replace five a year. Right. You know, that was mm -hmm. the original plan sure. back when. But a, I'd I'm like sorry. to see us get over this hump and then go back to then something. Then you're not like having nothing for ten yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. I, I tried four game. years ago to try and space it out a little bit better, and it was it was denied. What's your total? Yeah. I, I missed something money, along the way. Are your total count correct? On bottles, I think we're around um, sixty. No. Not sixty. I have to go. So, no, so we're replacing half. Fifteen a year. Or we can even drop that. Good for five years? Ten years. Uh, Ten years. Fifteen, so fifteen, five years, fifteen, right? fifteen, fifteen year life expectancy. Oh, fifteen years, not ten. You have to be no, hydro no. every, every right. five but years. But you have to do how many immediately? Immediately, I, like I said, I think I got 45 going completely out of service. Oh by, by June, I'm down to nine spare bottles. We did the count uh, a couple months back. About nine spare bottles in t for the entire department. And our vendor won't service them because they're out of One, life? It's DOT regulation. Okay. Once they hit fifteen years, that's it. You can make them budget. into lamps. And was there another issue that they were changing the the compression or we the, just changed the size the PSI a little bit? Or right. We just went a little bit. We went to a 45-minute bottle rather than a 30-minute bottle. Okay. Um, that was in anticipation. Uh, NFPA is going to be changing some of their uh, requirement as far as the low wire alarms going off. They instead of being set at you know the 10 minutes whatever it is now they want to bring it down to like a seven minute they, they, they want to increase it so this way if some so guy's inside he gets the warning a lot faster yeah. so. that's a quote for 45 minute bottles those are the 45 minute yeah. bottles yeah the big right yeah that's that's what i just asked right. yeah. yeah thank you so i mean there's been talk supposedly 5500 bottles but I, I i don't think that's even necessary the 45s are the 45 minute bottles are what we need um so we pretty much, if if we if we accept this capital investor investment of uh, forty thousand dollars, we'll re be replacing about half hour serviceable bottles at this time, yes. which you have forty five bottles going out of service in June, July of this year anyway. So we're still going to be we'll still, still be, be a negative. Short. We'll still be short, short but right. not as no. but we can get through operationally. This year. We can get through it no problem. As and long as you're saying we can get through it, yes. being fifteen bottles short this year, if right. we buy these thirty, and then we can and have we our plan going for where for next year and then the following five, five to seven replacement and just start. Well, next year we wouldn't have to do thirty, right? We no, no, no. I'm saying like the other we can, we can do it like not even fifty. We could do say a, even if we got a seven. You know, just uh, enough whatever to whatever you need to get all the you know, way just through. to get us. And then that would spread the the the, 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 right. the hit like Mr. Yeah. Billius wanted to do years ago. But right. So we wouldn't have to take it into capital. We can expense right. it as operating budget. Budget. Right. Now. Exactly. So, 
everybody have any issue with that, Mr. Holman, Mr. Cassio, Mr. Cumming? No, it should have been done years ago. Let's do it. So, okay, we, yeah. we got to do it. My only concern is, um, should we do the 45? That's what I was I asking. Mean, yeah, so, that's what I was wondering. You know, my question is, um, do we take do the 45? Because in the you know, to me again, in the grand scheme of things, uh, if we, especially if we capitalize it. Uh, and bond it, we're going to spread this over probably 10 years at least, I'm thinking, if we do a multi just bond. Just thinking 15 years then. It's another it's, 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 it's another, another 45 bottles that need to be replaced. Unless place. you over purchase in between and just replace five every year and at some point it'll shrink back and balance itself out. So I guess my, my question to you, uh, Chief and Bill, is um, can we can we develop a plan, a replacement plan? So, you know, with, we could do 30. You know, I would support 45 if you said do 45. Uh, I'll certainly support 30. No, I think the 30, like I said, and then we can, again, we'll, one year we might need, say, five. The next year we'll say seven and just kind of spread out the dates. The biggest, the problem is the dates. That's what it comes and to. And then if, you know, with the possible purchase of a new truck, you can, you know, equipment gets, Added into sure. the purchase of truck, so we could probably add in packs and bottles. Well, right there, you put if it, any truck, so. you put five packs on it. It's mandatory to have to have two bottles per pack. Well, we're looking more at more it. We, we don't bottles, want to hit the We're not going to be doing that here. So, so. No, yeah, I, I don't mind doing the tw the thirty bottles this year. That's not yeah. a problem. But again, just like we did with the uniform allowance and you start the spreading other it things, out. Right, you know, right. we put a set amount. We got. Fifteen thousand dollars every year. We're never going to spend on right. ten bottles. We agree. And that's how we should do. It. Instead mm -hmm. of you know, you're really hitting the taxpayers every ten or fifteen years with a huge number. Right. And that's they not get right. Free. They yeah. get free. And, and we knew this fifteen years ago when they yeah. were purchased. Course, it was just the way it was. Just, it's the way it is. It's yeah. done. Yeah. So yeah. Let's, I guess we're addressing the sins that have passed. And if the chief is okay with thirty buy, bottles, okay. And I, I, I think okay. thirty. You know. I mean, perfect yeah. time within in the budget with to be. A line item. A line so item. It's, 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 you're, well, you're spending X every yeah, year. You know it, what right. it is. Right. And, and then I know too. Yeah. Also, we with get technology back upgrades, that. like you said, it's going to a 45 minute bottle. Yeah. You know, right. like if yeah. we buy those today and then yeah. tomorrow it goes to an hour bottle, right. it, it helps spread right. that out Very also. Yep. Very good. Yeah. Can you just let us know what you think, uh, assuming we do 30, mm -hmm. what next year and look? Forward looking, is it five bottles? Is it seven? Is it four? Yeah. You know, what that looks like. I guess no, we no. get a forecast model of what we if need to forecast for the future. That'd be great. Five bottles a year mm -hmm. for 15 years. And, and, and then with a total of date of seven, unless you need seven next bottles. year and then drop to five. Yeah, so I like turn that. them into an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there could be some variability. Is that part of your job duties, Chief? <laughs> Actuary, actuary it's, it's, that, it's that new math that's killing me. Maybe we can help you out with Excel. And that would be a decent number. I'll I'll be okay with with year. I don't think we have a choice with the 30. Um, would we be able to? Yeah, we, we need at least these 30. Right. Would we be able to get them in time for when these 45 yes. bottles come due? Uh, these quick, yes. something we can quickly get, uh, you know, once the... So if the ship's so once, say, yeah, it's, we approve the budget quickly. Once, yeah, yeah, once I get the, the money, then it's, uh, it, contract, I'll get yeah. the paperwork done and, and, uh, and submitted. Okay, I just so, wanted to make sure it's not yeah. like a lead time. I, I'm sure they're not, but it's, I just wanted to confirm Yeah, that. it's not something they can just give me tomorrow, but... but yes, yeah, within I, a month or whatever, yeah, six weeks we can yep. have. So everybody's okay with purchasing 30 and then having the chief give us a forecast model of what we need going forward per year so we don't have these massive hits in the future. Make, is there any reason for this odd let's number? Make a, what's that? Is there any reason for this odd number or should we round it off? Just make it 40. Make it 40,000 and call it a day, right? Is everybody <laughs> okay with that? Yeah, all right. As for Mr. Cummings, uh, Mr. Cumming, uh, uh, I think it's a great idea to, to forecast this in the future like Mr. Allman wanted so we're not getting right. a big hit. And then uh, regularly upgrade because there will be uh, changes in the standards as they were just yeah. talking about, yes? Now, I guess the other question I had was, is, um, Mike, thank you. Mike had I just, oh, just one last question. Is this, is, is this just the physical bottle? Do you, does this include, or do you need to add in regulators? No, that includes the bottle and new regulators. We had been using the old regulators the last 15 years that I know of, but they're getting to the point where getting in there and 
they got to replace springs and doing this and that. Each this, time we got a bottle, that you know, this this regulator was no good to use. It, it, so it's yeah. the point that so this is with new bottles and new regulators. Okay. So the bottles, is, I mean, this is to me, this is a, a no-brainer. But I mean, I just for the record. Each bottle comes with the, the appropriate valve, yes? We, On the bottle. No, we, we were, in past years, we've been purchasing the bottle, reutilizing the, valve. the existing regulator valves that go on top. The valve. Yes, they would take them, service them, you know, all new parts. It's not like they were doing anything shady, but they were using what we had and yeah, they could use. Right, a washer. That right, a washer, right, there's a yeah. spring, there's a few yeah, other yeah, items. Yeah. Whatever we had that they could use, they would use. So, um... Do we need to replace those? But these now? 30 this were quote, getting all new. This now quote, these are all new parts. Three generations old now, oh, or two right. generations so old. So we can't use yet. Yeah. Yeah. So we're getting to the point where we're running out of them. But question. yeah, this no, no, good point. Because like, they you know. are longer length, I'm not familiar with them. Are they bigger? And does the harnesses that the. They the fit in our Scott Pack harnesses. The bottles okay. are a little wider. Where our. You saw our 30-minute uh, bottles are smaller. They're just a wider bottle. Okay. So, but all our equipment will, will handle it. Okay. So I, I guess just for my clarification, <laughs> we're getting new bottles and new regulators under this under this or, under yes. this proposed, right? Yes. And that's the valve, like Mr. Cumming was that's asking. That's the valve that attaches on the bottom of the bottle. So, that these the are, so we will have a brand new, not refurbished valve or anything. It'll no, be a brand, brand new bottle, valve. two regulator hose, everything in between. Everything. Yep. <laughs> the whole. That. That's all going to be new. I guess my next question is: the masks are okay. Those are getting certified every year, or do we need to budget uh, they, for they don't get certified, but under equipment, as, as they break, we okay. just replace them. I just want to make sure we didn't need masks. We did, that's that. No, that's not part of this. Anything that we're not aware of, of then you not the bottle. We should add in. No. But like, like I said, that, that, this will cover it all. Like I said, we okay. did, we wanted to get away from. Like I said, it was getting to the point where our regulators just weren't exactly weren't up to snuff anymore. So, right. so that answers uh, Mr. Cummings' question. Thank you, and Thank you. Mr. Allman. Right, Mr. Allman, do you have yes, anything else? I'm good. So we're going with 40 flat. So right? 40, 40 flat number. for that for uh, yeah, for the quote I'm and. Good uh, with that. Everybody's okay. Uh, the next thing for, in the capital for the fire department was computer system upgrades. Uh, state contract price of 27 four. Twenty-seven thousand four hundred dollars. I guess that's just to. Uh, that is the Red Max system, I believe. That's what we discussed. That this is the computerized system that will replace our LOSAP, our NIFRS, and our credit system. Now, when we discuss specifically the grants, yeah. we are behind the eight ball. We're using was it uh, two point oh, and it's at five point oh. So we have tried. I actually tried to get um, a grant for uh, Scott Pack replacement, but when we got to the point where your NIFRS reporting was required. Our you system was not even close to being, and it basically, we couldn't do it. So we looked at it as a whole where we're gonna get away from the paper system, which has been a problem with our credits in the past, mm -hmm. and it's gonna computerize everything. Uh, the men coming and signing in, it's gonna be biometric. So again, the signatures are gone, Who, who's signing in for who. Um, it's going to be a biometric finger scan? Yes. Okay. Yes. Single we had a, finger, not a full hand. Single right? finger. Okay. We, we had a choice between that and, and the swipe card, and again, trying to play uh, I'm not, the I'm big not, meanie. I'm, swipe cards are an issue because you lose them, yeah. somebody lose swipes them. somebody else. Well, that's, right. you know, the first um, thing I thought of was hanging my swipe card in a rack. And, and you got to remember to do it. <laughs> It's a yeah. lot easier when you got the single finger. You got to walk up and you got to put your finger in. Mm -hmm. So um, that's all included. But again, we're getting away from the paper system, which is always so. This a includes the the finger scans at Everything. the doors and the full system. That's to the entire system. Um, all the modules included, which is going to give us a maintenance module. It's going to give us a, the low sap calculation module, the NIFRS module, our credit module. Um, and also a personal training, so we'll be able to track everything electronically. So when it comes time to get the credits in, push a button, send it. If you guys need something, push a button, prints it out. So you're not, you're not going to have to take the paper and, we're, and add it to a spreadsheet to create Right. The, we're, the, we're just going to eliminate and the human factor. We're going to get that out of it. Let the computer handle it. Nobody is no questions. No hanky panky. Uh, we don't have to go into an audit like we've had to do because of questions. Um, okay. So that's I think reason. that's a great idea. I, I'm, I'm in favor of this item. Gentlemen, any comments or uh, you know, concerns you may have. Uh, is this just the uh, software, or do you require new hardware to run it? No, I believe that's everything. That's them going over what we have in existence. I believe they looked at the system, because this is going to tie in with the police as well. Uh, also, it's going to take over our e-dispatch, because we're going to eliminate that. There's a system, I am responding, which can be tied into this unit. 
so that instead of just the call going out, the chief is going to be able to look at and say, oh, Kevin's coming, oh, Billy's okay. coming. So we're going to also eliminate the cost for e-dispatch every year because it's going to be rolled into this system. So we'll see that in the future once the system is fully As we're going, yes. But, uh, yeah, we sent all the information to the company, uh, you know, what we're using now, what the police are using, and, and it's all tied in and they're good to go. And I understand. Fees with this? Now, that's what I was just going to ask you, too, is the, I think the IM responding still has a subscription the, fee. Uh, yeah, but I don't Like the e-dispatch, but I think it's less than the e-dispatch. It's e -dispatch. not as, yeah. How much is the one we have now? What was the we line brought it up before. Yeah. That was the e-dispatch line. Thousand fifteen hundred. Thousand fifteen. It was, thousand, right. 15, it was, minim, it was okay. minimal. It wasn't right. a lot. Right. So right. let's say let's say a thousand dollars. I guess my question, Chief, is I know it's under state contract, or our surrounding municipalities using the Redknack system that we're comfortable. We've we've heard good things about. Uh, it. This is this has been in the works for two years. We've been researching this. Okay, I just yeah. wanted to make sure that yeah, this actually, is what we wanted, and we're oh, not yeah, just no. settling on something you no, know, no. that our surrounding yeah, municipalities are using. I I don't think anybody else in the valley. I don't want not in the valley. Not in the valley is using it, but uh, yeah, we started this two years ago. Uh, Adam had uh, we actually started in Wildwood with this. We'll actually be ahead of the curve. And we've been meeting with them on a regular basis, trying to get it going. So we are comfortable. <laughs> Does Paramus have something like this? <laughs> wow, so we'll be the cutting edge yeah, of technology. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and in the future, it's a, we're already planning in for, you know, um, you know maybe or town anybody, we can add uh, tablets into the cars and the trucks. So we're already building in our mapping software. This is all stuff that's going to be eligible for, but the big okay. thing, and like I said, with this NIFRS, if we can get up so to this NIFRS. So this is an expandable system that, yes. like you said, it would add maps to your trucks and stuff like that in the future with other modules being added and yep. uh, through the use of you know, GPS, I'm sure, GPS and all that. and the adding the trucks the are, and where, whatever. Yep. That's a great idea. What, I'm not clear I understand the integration with the police. Um, what, what they can do is uh, say I have a tablet in my car. Now the call comes out, okay, fire at ABC Street. It'll tie into the CAD system where whatever information they have in the CAD system okay. will come across my tablet. So if they notice elderly person with oxygen or if there's kids okay. or if there's and whatever. And it's expandable to the point where when they upgrade their CAD system on that end, it can actually go into giving us hydrant locations, hazards at the building, and it could go so far in depth that you can't even plan for what it will do. At this point, until you start, it's, it's all expandable. Right. Social right. database. So right. So in the future, there may be additional there's, upgrades you're going to need. There's an um, option to expand, or we if we don't need anything, there's nothing. Where it is. Planning can go into it. Right. Um, I mean, if we like, I guess there's a lot of modules that could be added. So right. it's it's a smart it's a smart tablet for the future. You know. So everybody, anybody have any issues with purchasing uh, under capital the Redneck system for the fire department? No. No. You okay with it? I'll just have to make sure it's a viable capital expense. Well, it's under state contract, right? Oh, it's, oh, state contract doesn't mean that it's a viable. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just to, we, but all right, so that's that. something you'll review, Marianne, and get yes. back to us, please. Can I just take one minute? Sure. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. I mean, does that finish? I think the next thing is the radio system, which we're going to discuss with the police department, and maybe we'll just have to get some input um, from yeah, the fire department and, and all the other departments that are going to be tied into the and, radio upgrade. And, and uh, we'd like to do that with checking with everyone in closed session. Okay. Mm. So the, 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 that, that item is going to go into closed. Okay. That's a security. Yeah. So I think that uh, concludes. Um, you know, once the chief gets back, I don't know if you wanted to make any other comments, and then we'll stop. Mm -hmm. Got one thing. Yes. Does, does anybody have their notes from the prior meetings? I was just while sitting here going through the minutes, the proposed minutes that you're going to be considering for the budget meetings. Mm -hmm. I just had some differences between my records and Sue's, and I just wondered if somebody had them. I have all the numbers. Okay, highlighted would you in my mind book, so. just now if I just yeah, talk you want to just them? you want to take my book and flip through the pages, or, or you want me to give them to you? Let me see. Let me see. Just do with it. No, I have. Um, I took my notes. Hold on, let me. Oh, here they are. Okay. Okay. Can I just tell you the line? Sure. Some of them are easy because yeah. it's just a difference where 
the mayor changes his recommend and you guys agreed to it, there's no increase, but Sue had noted them as increases, so I just want to make sure yeah. that you were consistently okay. noting the, re the increased recommend. So it was page 10. Line, um, I'm just going to do start with the 2130. You got to get 250. The twenty-one thirty, two fifty, at two hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, but the mayor had recommended, so there's no increase. So I'll take that off her because you don't have to take action as an increase if it's a change in the recommend. So I'm going to delete that. Exactly. Page twelve. Yep. Killing us. Eight hundred one twenty one forty five two eighty. Same thing I had. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Recommend. Yes. Yes. Okay. I'll I'll handle the rest at a. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Chief, that uh, takes us to the end of the capital uh, for the fire department. Uh, we're going to talk about the other item we've discussed prior in closed session, so um, the uh, radio upgrades. Okay. Um, so if you have anything else you'd like no. to say or do. Uh, no, no. Thank you for your time, Andrew. gentlemen. Uh, you your understanding. Uh, again, my phone, Billy's phone, email. Track me down. Mm -hmm. Any questions? I have no problems. Smoke phone signals. Phone. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever it gets. Is that off the town siren? Um, <laughs> I guess we'll have to uh, maybe uh, the mayor and myself, and if Mr. Cumming or anybody else would like to be involved, we can get together and discuss the sirens. And uh, sure, on, sure. No, we don't have to do it now, but we can maybe meet one great. day on a that Saturday morning great. or something, that, and that's uh, fine. That's just fine. review it very quickly. Yep. I have a, I've done a lot of them and uh, have some. Yeah, I mean, maybe some help I can give you. And yeah, I mean, we discussed, I mean, uh, a couple of years back, I know it was talked about buying a new siren. I mean, some of our sirens, I think we're looking at 1940, 1950, but it's an electric it's motor. Quality. With, like it's time. Mm -hmm. no, well, it's, it's a blower. It's, all it is I mean, is it's an electric motor right. with, with mm -hmm. the thing on top. No. Why do we need Quite. to have that, you know, Hillsdale, I, God, I pity the people that work in Wendy's when that sucker goes yeah, off. It's, we don't know. Actually, they decreased the I'm volume. sure there's people they, that... They had to turn it down in Hillsdale because it was too loud. It yeah. was just in insane and really... And I mean, they have a bigger need for something like that, though, because they can... They do the voice. The floods and okay. all that right. stuff. But could you see the calls you get that. when someone's on the microphone? You know, <laughs> <laughs> what's happening? Yeah. So, all right, I mean, so if we can get together on that, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, not a problem. Like I said, you guys let me know. Um, I'm available every afternoon and every weekend, so... Okay. So that, that's easy enough. Well, thank well, you for your time, John. Yes, thanks for coming. Just quickly, just it reminded me because I was actually sending an email to Mr. Lawler about a going proceeding with the repair because the other day he came. We should proceed with the repair. Yeah. For the well, this is what I'm just about to say. So he got a um, he received an estimate from the electrician for the restoration of the the wiring to reinstall that. And then at that time, I didn't know what the sense was if that was necessary. I'm just telling him to go ahead with it. But he said there was a second phase of it where they would test the actual siren. So I'll tell them to hold off on that. Or if, if no, you should test the siren. Well, well. No, after, the, well, assuming it works, if they, they don't do anything else as far as changing it out. Right. Okay, all right. No, we're comfortable with the existing yeah. one as long as it works. Yeah, yeah. no, no, we're fine with it. Like I said, uh, we actually sent those years out. We went down to the, uh, I think we spent $2,000 total. Mm. Pulled them down, had them completely rewired, and mm -hmm. they're fine. They're Did fine. they require any Ongoing uh, sprays of WD-40 replacement. We go up there. We go up there. We try and get up there twice a year. We pull ah. the cover off, make sure there's nothing in. You know, yes, nobody yes. made a home. <laughs> yeah. um, I know Calvin Street sounds. It sounds like it's a dying squirrel, but mm -hmm. that's, you said it was brushes, right? We, just brushes. two brushes we got to put in, but yeah. I'm waiting for the budget because you know, to, to get them, and it's just a budget, uh, brush replacement. But like I said, it's. A, why make it complicated? It's mm -hmm. a simple right, system. Right. Electric Keep motor thing on top, boom, yep. you put electric mm -hmm. to it, it goes. Okay. And you know And the NEC requires conduit at least eight feet up. Yeah, so on, that's why I wanted that's why I wanted voltage. Voltage. maybe that would right. and this is high voltage. Well it's low voltage because it's not high, but uh, we'll, we'll discuss not, it. Not yeah, something it's over, but yeah. No, no, no but it's, yeah, it's not high, but it's, yeah, it's not that high. It's not that high. It's one ten current, but we should have it. One hundred and ten or above requires conduit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get a phone number if somebody wanna look at that desk? And I have approval to donate it. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, if you can just Chief, yeah, you want to give me a like, cell phone? If, if, yeah, yeah, I'll give, yeah, I'll give you everything. Uh, I'll see you. And it's easy. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. It's just in the attic and the hand carrying it down because it's uh, 
It's heavy and first class and shiny and clean. Wow. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's a nice piece of uh, IKEA office furniture. There you go. It's a corner desk. I think it'll work well for you if you have a place for it. And uh, I have approval from my chief to donate. <laughs> so well, she said yes already. She said, yeah, let's, let's, Get rid of it. let's donate it. Mm -hmm. We cleaned out a bedroom and made it for the, the grand prix. So, uh, well, you said the word's heavy, so I'll have to get one of these guys. It's a little. It because it's a little. I don't do heavy. He's an old man. I think that comes with the rank. I don't have to. Right, right. There you if go. you like it, we'll. That's why you have to go rank and file. Yeah. Well, we, we, we can have, have the DMF there. help out too if you need. It's, we work it out. I got that guy. I have to get that done. It's not a big deal. I think two of us can handle it quite well. And thank you, Bill, for reminding me how old I am. Yes, I can't pick it up. Michael. If you don't mind, Watch can, it. There I, might can be we some handle old a few people cleanup here. items before you dig in, unless you have a plan for something else? I was, um, I was going to just ask the rest of the council, um, I think the, the, if we could just do a couple cleanup items and then we'll end there for lunch, um, and that'll be the end of it. Mr. I know Mr. Bruno wanted to be here for the rest. He couldn't be here today. So I don't think there's anything else we want to discuss today um, until Monday night, if that's okay with everybody else, yeah. unless somebody had something else they wanted to discuss tonight. Yeah. So I guess if we could just uh, have some cleanup items with Marianne sure. and we'll adjourn Thank you that for your input. Is that okay yeah. with you? Really Thank, you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. That's fine. Mr. Mr. Okay. Well, actually, on a uh, related note, so what I just mentioned was I, I was sitting here reviewing the minutes that you're being asked to approve on Monday regarding yep. your two prior budget meetings. Um, and I just got through two of them. The next line item was, uh, it was on page 12. It was a tax assessor salary. Page 12, you said? Yes. 801-20-150-110. I had a note that it was supposed to be flagged for calculation of actual. Sue had a determination on it. Again, what number is it? Because I don't have it on page 12, so it must have been. Yeah, uh, it's the very bottom. Oh, yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, you see it? Yes, I had a flag that you were going to give us the action. Okay, because yes. Sue had action on it, so I'll correct that. But while we're at it, I have the actual number based on um, the calculation, okay. based on what was paid to the retiring and what's going that to That was the paid. issue that we needed. That, yeah, yeah. You weren't here so that I day, do so. have that number. Just right. bear with me. Um, what number page was that? 12? 12, yes, the bottom of 12. Okay. I'm just looking at an updated version. Okay, so the actual recommend now is revised by the mayor to 20,251, which is calculated. $20,000, 251. 251, okay. 20,251. So uh, I don't know if you want to. I take think, well, we, uh, you, gentlemen, you okay with taking action on that today? Uh, sure. I mean, yeah. that's an actual. If that's the number. That's the actual yes. contractual. That's well, contractual have, based yeah. on his well, base. Well, we don't number. have contracts, but, but that you know was based saying, on the based offer. Based on his year. Yeah, that's calculated based on what we will pay. So for um, tax assessor 801201150-110, uh, now that Marianne has provided us the uh, actual, which has become the recommended uh, by the mayor, 20000 that That's for the full year? Yes. Yes. $20,251. Is everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. That's yes. like a 10-month yes. salary. No, no 12 what happened? It was prorating the guy who retired and the guy who, because they would be different salary oh, rates. Oh, oh, yeah. Very good. The That's outgoing, the total between right. the um, outgoing um, assessor who was paid through the end of January of was right, paid and then at about just over 25000 The incoming assessor, there was a little bit slight lag between when he retired. He's being paid at 20000 so it's okay, so calculated it's a, mm -hmm. to the penny. And now, also on a similar note. Time. Okay, so so just uh, one second. So, we're, uh, gentlemen, we're all okay for the tax assessor salary of twenty thousand two hundred fifty-one dollars, correct? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's for both assessors both for twenty eighteen. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now the right. next yeah. line. Good. Yep. Uh, tax assessor's clerk, which wasn't one that was flagged, I don't believe. Do you, what do you have in your books? It was flagged. Okay, so again, this was similar. What was, page are you on, Mary? Uh, same. The next, 13. very next line item. Thirteen. Okay, yes, okay. Okay. We have sixty six thousand two hundred and forty dollars. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna reduce the recommend because what happened was we had um, Mr. Arasetti, who was the existing mm -hmm. assistant, was set to get a raise on his anniversary. Um, we just hired yesterday made the offer I just received while I was sitting here today an acceptance of that offer at fourteen dollars per hour. So based on that, the number is now five thousand three hundred and twenty. Five two two. Five, no, five, five three two zero. So if you want to. So gentlemen, for uh, tax assessor clerk eight zero one two zero one fifty dash one twenty, we're gonna 
we have a recommend now of an actual, because uh, a new person has been hired, as Mary just stated, of 5,320. Uh, are we okay with that? Yes. Yeah. Mr. Comment? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And then while in the same yep. department, you had taken action on one line, but since then I received a revised request from the new tax assessor. Going down to line 150, 250 for tax assessor, the dues meetings and conferences. Yes, correct. Okay, you had approved 700. No, no we, you had 165. 165. He has now changed his request to 700, and the mayor has uh, recommended that amount. He's explained it is as in the past, Mr. Damiano was an assessor in multiple towns, and the cost was spread out in other towns. Um, this would be $300 for the Bergen County Assessors Association annual fee and $400 for continuing education courses for a total of 700 is the new request from the new assessor. And that's for him to go to his uh, conferences to the yes. county and the, yes. and the... Well, would, I mean, I don't know if we need a, a uh, training, but uh, is continuing education, would that uh, fall into that? Well, he, they do it at conferences. Many times that's what happens. It, it gets yeah, in there. It's not necessarily training. It's part of your conferences. Okay. That's part of the be beauty of being in associations. So he's out. He, 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 Mr. Aracetti right now only works for the township. Correct. Yes. So he doesn't have multiple towns like our former. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That's the difference. So that's the difference where he was spreading his costs between yes. all the towns. And given the, the decrease in the salary, salary yes. I mean, we're, you, we're you still doing okay. We're still ahead of the game. Right. Though, so. We okay with changing uh, eight zero one two zero one fifty from one hundred and sixty five dollars to seven hundred dollars. Well, actually, it's just accepting the mayor's recommendation, the revised recommendation. Well, we had because we had approved it at one sixty five already, so I wanted to put it on record that we're changing it. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Are you okay with it, gentlemen? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. That was it for that line. Um, that covers his travel as well, which is the yes. next line. He's, he's okay uh, yes, with I believe that. so. Oh, yes. A oh, that's a stipend he gets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, I see. That's Anything else, Mary? Contractual. Or? No, that's it. And as far as that line goes, um, I did receive after we met the other night um, information from the DMF regarding the uniforms to outfit them as they requested. What line did. item is this? That I have to find myself. It's going to be in 26. Page. It's going to be on 26. 26. Okay. Uh, just a moment. Uh, no. Did we get the contract and the next? Uh, uh, the uniform contract, rentals. Yeah. Okay. I have it on my. I'm, I'm using a, a later version. It's on mine, page 37. So it's either on 37 or 36. It's page for you. 30. It's 37. It's yeah. three lines from the 29400. I have a 290, 390. 290, 390. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, I'd like to change the request and then ask the mayor if he's going to change his recommendation. $3,900 was the new amount for the request. So and that's Peter, with having the additional uniforms, Mary? Yes, it's all calculated. It's assuming they get each get 11 sets of their items and it's a rate of $7.50 per person for that. Can I? I, I I have no issue with that. I just want to make sure that the the T-shirts are um, safety yellow and have the. Um, I, I understand they may not like this. Uh, this has become a big issue on work sites, and our and our employees. our DMF employees are out on the road all day long. And I believe sometimes yes. we forget. I'm not saying they do, but sometimes we forget to put on a vest. So if we have the yellow safety shirt, good idea. Um, with you the, can't with, forget with the with the um, right. emblazoned uh, reflective shield on it. I don't know if that's going to add a little bit to it. Well, the, I'll just explain to you if yeah. you want. The the shirt color is not stipulated, but I do know that they wear the. I, I think that's required by GIF rules or uh, whatever that they wear. The, well, Bill said that they didn't all wear it. I want to make if we're going to buy them eleven shirts and so forth. I, I think we we need to make sure that we're purchasing the safety colored shirts. Yes. Um, well, they, that's an option. I'll tell them that they have to go with that if that's what they yeah. want. Some of them prefer, but it does say as far as. Um, Garment decoration, work shirts and jackets are decorated with employee name, township logo, and American flag. T-shirts, sweatshirts, and thermal hoods are decorated with a direct printed silk screen logo. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure that they're safety yellow, that's all. Safety, yeah. safety first. Yeah. If, if um, the mayor council is going to, we agreed that we were going to buy them two sets so they didn't have the 
clearly right. issues that, yes. that you are here for this. So. No, no, I wasn't. Oh, you are? Okay. No, I'm aware of that, and it's something that I know that they've wanted in the past. Oh, but I understand if they don't... If we're going to purchase them, my recommendation is that they have to be yellow, mm -hmm. and they, they don't have to. If they would like not to wear yellow, and they'd like to purchase the uniforms on their own, that's on them. Right? That's on them. Yeah, but they, they or have they stay to wear with safety. the one set. Mm -hmm. Well, they have to wear safety gear. The mechanic who is on site often prefers, I believe, the one that's. But we can talk about that separately. I don't know that we're we're renting these, and I believe I'm not sure if this is contractual that we have to provide them uniforms, but. Um, Oh, I, think if it's the, I, I can tell you right now that the amount doesn't change sure. based on the nature. So if you're, if we approve it, I see what you're saying as far as you want to mandate that. But I think the number is going to be the number, to, which is regardless. great by me. I just yeah. think that if we're 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 I guess we're helping their morale by having two sets and not have to worry about washing their shirts and this and that. Mm -hmm. Really. Um, so I think that's a huge improvement for them. But my only stipulation to that is that we go to safety color yellow. Yeah. That's all. I, I understand agree. that. Yeah, I support I understand that. that. Um, I, I think you know. I've seen. Eight I've seen departments eight, where eight, it's six, split, eight, where eight, it's not eight, mandated, eight, and then it looks awkward. Eight, I think eight, you know, like Ridgewood's gone to all yellow. Everybody, eight, eight, you know, eight, a lot eight, of towns eight, have gone eight, to all eight, yellow, eight, eight, and it just makes eight, total eight, sense eight, to. to, to the only thing I would like is identification. And what she said, they're going to have their names on it. I think they just said on the shirt. I'm talking about maybe the jacket too. Does the jacket have their name on it? Because we, we had I believe that up. that's what it says, okay. yes. Oh, I thought you just I said the shirt. shirt. No. Okay. It says work shirts and jackets are decorated with employee name. Perfect. Excellent. Okay. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Okay. I thought it was just um, but as far as budgeting purposes, Peter, are you going to change your recommend to 3900 Peter? I'm sorry, Mary. Are you going to change your recommend to 3900 Yes. Okay, so then... The council needs to. Yeah. So we had uh, held this there. item over until we had more information, there. gentlemen. Uh, I'm, good. I'm good. With you're okay with it? Yes. Mr. Allman, yeah. you okay with it? I always have a question. Hey, so do we um, do we provide them foul weather gear? Only because uh, yesterday morning, uh, as I left for work, there were two or three gentlemen at the top of my street uh, working in the sleet, the rain, the snow. And they, in my opinion, Did didn't appear right. to be properly outfitted. Now, they may, it may be restrictive, it may be constrict, they may not want it, but do we provide foul weather gear for employees that are required to work outside in all weather? Now we do. We do. Now. By virtue of the, well, your recent action, but I don't think in the past, and in fact, they had approached. Um, Dan Scuderi and the mayor about the fact that they did not put in previously for it because they were afraid mm -hmm. they were going to get shot down. Well, does, can we just confirm then? I'd like to hold this till Monday. That well, we no, well, this has it in it. it no, no, but I think, no, I think what Mr. Allman is saying, I think Mr. Allman is talking about like uh, uh, rain gear, um, you know, that's that's waterproof um, for incidents like yesterday when they're out in the pouring I mean, rain and they don't have a they don't have a rain slicker on their pants, boots. Uh, rain boots, you know, stuff like that. I think these I mean, are things they were literally up need. to their knees, removing a sewer cover to take Clean the clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if, if that's how they want to work because it's burdensome, I understand. But I, I think we just ask them once more, yes. Marianne. Okay. Well, this right now, this provides for a mid-weight work jacket in three styles, and a thermal zip front hooded sweatshirt. So I guess they lay layer them up. Okay, um, which is fine. I understand that because depending on the season, you and, and the you know we had eighty degrees. Elements, right. We had eighty degrees two day, you know two weeks ago. So, um, but I guess if they need uh, additional rain gear, that you know we not, we don't have to purchase eleven pieces of rain gear as long as they have one piece of rain gear, um, and it's going to add to that cost. Let's just find that out um, if we can get them if they need rain if the if if they determine that rain gear is required and we haven't provided it to them in the past. You Mr. Allman, your recommendation, like mine, to get them rain gear also? Yes, and it would go, you know, drop the, the line below to line 400 for mm -hmm. the uniform and safety the equipment. equipment. But, uh, I mean, that's my opinion. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll ask mm -hmm. them to make sure they're providing for everything they need to mm -hmm. work Including in the elements. Including rain gear and uh, yeah. stuff yellow. like that. Yellow. And safety yellow. And safety yellow. Or they put the scotch light on it. And actually, on that note, the safety equipment, I know we had that flag, but um, there was an incident on Friday. We lucky that there was nothing serious, but um, in, in loading a log on, on the um, bucket loader, um, a branch uh, shattered the windshield. 
the employee's fine, but he did make the comment he's going to be working with goggles now. Mm -hmm. So they should have so. Should all, yeah. should have a hard hat or a windshield. I mean, I don't know if that's appropriate. Safety glass on the bucket loader. Isn't it safety glass? It was a. What happened was a um, branch was intertwined with the log, and it came through. I guess at a. High the rate impact of speed. may have yeah. broken it up into small pieces. He said it yeah. didn't. It no. What there were some shards, but for the most part, it stayed in place. But there were oh, some shards. Oh, even for the little pellets. Yeah, yeah that can, yeah. could be bad. I think uh, based on that, I, I think right. our, all our employees should be wearing safety glasses. Um, Just about all the time. Well, I guess they they're in a bucket truck. They it didn't expect. I but mean, but when you're doesn't matter. Who expects? Well, we'll talk to the GIF, I guess. Oh, and I'm a, you know. It's just a good practice. It's a good also, practice. Whether the GIF doesn't matter if we're in vehicles right. or not vehicles, um, they yeah. should have safety glasses or some kind of, either their eyeglasses should be made safety right. or their, they should have the safety glass above it. Um, it's, it's, it's imperative that we protect them. Um, For their sake and ours. Yes. So. Um, so if we can find out, if, as Mr. Allman just stated, if we can get rain gear, make sure they have that and any other here that they made. If we have to start buying cases of goggles, um, let's Why don't we just do the 39 for the uniform rental and then we can put down the uniform for the next line for the Oh, and safety equipment. Safety equipment. Is everybody okay with that? I'm fine with the 39. All right. So so I guess. And let's just leave that flag. Yeah, let's leave. We'll leave. 400 flag. 400 flags. With a note to include raincoats and any necessary. safety goggles, hard hats, all that kind of stuff. So Your protection, stays at 30, right? Three ninety goes to thirty nine hundred. Yeah, no 3, 900, all, um, everybody's okay with that then for the uniforms, yes, and then so we will look at the um, and the recommend. Okay. We will look at um, item four hundred once we get the additional uh, safety equipment, safety equipment uh, PPEs for each one of our personnel, um, their protective so personal equipment. Um, oh, sounds like a, yeah, sounds like an engineer a talk. Nice acronym, right? It is a great acronym. <laughs> um, <laughs> We should make sure that we just invest in our... should throw an extra thousand just for that act. No, 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 no. <laughs> and earmuffs. <laughs> yes. should have earmuffs Ear for certain mm -hmm. pieces of equipment. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I like bows myself. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Marianne, that you had on your list? Uh, that's it for the time being. Okay. So uh, anything else, gentlemen? We'll adjourn there if it's okay. Good meeting. Anything else? Are you having any other departments in? Um, Are we going to have Reckon? Reckon, we've asked for the Reckon report. Yes, that's our next department. We'd like no, to, we're going to, we're going to make that, I'm, I'm I you're absolutely right, man. Um, we'd like the Rec Department uh, Director here. Um, uh, I know Monday's, I know it's short notice, but I'll, I'll, I'll see he's, if he's, he's available. available, if he's mm -hmm. available. Um, okay. I don't know if you're aware the superintendent had resigned and she, her last day was on Thursday. No, we are not aware of well, that. Well, not the director, the superintendent. The of superintendent, the that's why I said it's superintendent. Mrs. Lawson. Yes. 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 So she's resigned as of yes. Thursday? Yes. No, so yeah, she Thursday resigned. Was her last she day. gave me notice on the 20th and her Ouch. last day was. Yeah, she found a better position in another. Uh, no, not necessarily. No, it was a private company. Okay. Um, um, and I'll hand good. out to you, yes. supplementing um, on her last day, she provided you with information pursuant to somebody's request for the summer rec in revenues mm -hmm. and yes. participation. I have, you have in your budget books, you can find the line items to see the outflows for that. Uh, the payroll is discreet and the program spending is discreet. And I had to get you the um, the portion that was paid out of trust because that doesn't run through the budget. Those are the excursions, which which for the most part should be a wash. So when you're looking at that, you asked for evaluating yes, the fees. Yes, I guess we they want. I'm just going to tell you, I'm handing that yeah. the documentation okay. to you Perfect. here. All right. If you're going to be considering that on um, Monday night. We're going to try to get to it Monday night, so if he, if he okay. can make himself available, that would be great, or we'll have to wait to a subsequent meeting when yeah, he's available. I'll, I'll and see. Um, but he's we will not be able to complete the rec um, review until we, he's here. Of course. I was going to ask you that today, Mr. Mayor. I apologize. Um, no and I don't know if you want to. It does seem that the legal would require some discussion. I don't know if you Mr. want to. Mr. Pollard, do that. Uh, we'd like him S here also. But Since uh, he's going to be at the meeting, it yes. makes sense to do it on a Monday night. Peter, I don't know if you want to talk to him, or should I? Uh, yeah, either one of us just make sure he comes prepared to discuss it. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it may have to be in closed session. That's that's fine. We're going to go into closed on other things also. So I think we're 
if, if Mr. Pollard and uh, Mr. Toomey could be available for Monday, that'd be great. I'll let them both know. And see. Oh, okay. Can we kind of know? But. Okay, one last thing on the, uh, actually, I just realized a cleanup item on the WCTV um, budget lines. Yes, we had asked for additional okay. information. Um, where are we? Let me see what it means. Front page. Just one moment. Thank you. It is, I think it's page 18. Towards the top. Thank you, Michael. Uh, I think. I'm a look. Yeah, public affairs, uh, 406, 520, right? Is that what we're talking about? Just I don't think moment. it's that one. It's the, Let me get it. Just it one moment. The 407, um, triple zero. WC. Yes. WC. Okay. So there were two, there was two comments. One was the videotaping the council meetings, which yep. is two up. Um, I obtained information. Um, and Mr. Wojciechowski uh, is keeping his rate flat. So 520 so, will remain $9,600? If the only reason you held it up was to determine his per meeting rate, yes, his rate is flat, and that was based on an estimated 24 regular meetings and estimated eight special meetings, which given the pace you're at, I think you're going to be a fine because you're building them into your budget, your council meetings. So I think that should be ample. Okay, okay. so he was okay. I guess the question was, is it was he comfortable yes, with the $300 was, number? Yes. We got new quotes and we're okay with that. Yes. So gentlemen, are we okay with 801-204-06-520 remaining at 9,600? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And then confirmed. On, it's on confirmed. The, and then I guess the other one was the um, 000, zero zero uh, WCTV cable television expense. Yes, I had a note. Sue had in the minutes. We had made it 8,000 and approved it, so. What's that? We had yeah. made it 8,000 and approved it, is my You notes. had, okay. Yeah. I thought zero, I was zero, supposed zero. to ask them yeah. if they had. Oh, I, I didn't can. have that either. Maybe I have old pages. 8,000? I no, don't have you had your seven. question mark. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is question. Yes, it's oh, 8000 eight, zero, zero, zero question, and, and I made it look like mark. a zero. I'm sorry. So I guess yes. we were going to ask him if he if he needed more. In, in and expenses. I think I did, and I think they said no, that seven was sufficient. But you know what? Let me let me do double, triple check that one. Okay. Okay. So but we'll I just, hold on zero, zero, zero. But, my, but the reason I raised it, it was that in, in the minutes, it, Sue had taken action to increase it, which I didn't have, so we didn't. You didn't take action to increase no. it. Okay, no, so no, I'll, no. I'll make that correction. So when you look at your minutes, I had I had it increased to eight thousand question mark. So that's what well, I. Well, it's a question mark. I had a mark, question yeah. mark. So what I'm just saying to you is, based on what we just discussed, if you over the weekend look at the minutes that are on the agenda for Monday night, just mm -hmm. know I'm going to on Monday morning ask Sue to make these revisions in Perfect. light of what we've just talked about. Okay. Anything else, Marianne? That was it. Okay. Motion to adjourn, gentlemen. So moved. moved. Second. Second. Roll call, please. Aye. Aye. Oh, Aye. Yeah. Oh, I apologize, Mr. Conway and Mr. Second. Mr. Cassio. Mr. Cassio got it before I did. Huh? Uh, 